Nori, do you know that if you have your 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 microphone volume to the maximum? Or like just higher? If you know your microphone is at the is at loud audio and it's not like really quiet. Cause I have I have your user volume at like two hundred percent and it's still sometimes hard to hear you. Hi, Death. Hey, what's up? Okay, hello, Nori. Why are you so cute? Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so Nori, the the two things like Discord has its own volume setting for your microphone, but there's also you know your computer's setting. So if you look at like sound and find your microphone, you could see if if it even has a boost or just a normal volume slider that's like just to, like fifty percent or something. So, Death, also, how you been? How's your stream? It was pretty good. I got stuff done. I think I like streaming because it uh, keeps me from uh, being a fucking retard and doing everything else but drawing. <laughs> yeah, but I've procrastinated way too long on things. A lot. Yeah, it's like having somebody stare over your shoulder and be like, do, do that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> well, the worst feeling is just in school when that teacher does that. Oh, no, no, that's completely different. That's a get the fuck off me. <laughs> the fuck away from me. Yeah. That means they're about to say some shit. I would like talk through your stream like last time, but I was busy out driving and stuff. Ah, gotta get the practice in. True. I'm gonna schedule a DMV. Uh, appointment to get hopefully my final you know test and now i can legally drive amazing which you know sure. my parents are going to take advantage of that oh no <laughs> go to the grocery store go to the grocery store go here go there drive me this way hey you think you can help me with this thing like i popped it up and it says uh my boost plus 10 dv or something Oh, uh, can you screen share that window in Discord? Uh, I'm trying. I'm not the most tech savvy, but I do know my way around a computer. Hi, Nano. Hello. Hello. How's how's you and Trist and Sushi? <laughs> I had sushi last night. Tonight I had pancakes. Ooh. Still doing fine, although I'm I'm worried about tomorrow because snow. Oh, I heard. Yeah, might keep me out of work. Oh my God, and... Nori, that's at forty percent. Yeah, the mic at the front paddle. If that's the one you're using, put that up. Uh, like all the way or what? Uh, slowly go and and test so we can hear. Check, check. Oh, now you're getting louder. Just leave Hello. it at... Yeah, leave it at max. Let's put this on. Right, just Hello. Put... Now, now I can hear you clearly. So, nothing else or what? You can turn down microphone boost. The boost, like, makes it sound kind of... What's it? What's crazy? It? Kind of crazy a little bit. So if you put that on zero, you sound perfect. How about now? You're good. So now it's clear okay. and it's loud enough so I can just pump you up. Hey, okay. Also, Nano, you're fucking... The, the shirtless colored... Is so hot. Yeah? <laughs> you like it? I did that just for you. Because you asked. <laughs> I'll use it for no other alternative reasons. Uh, let me get my... I trust that. <laughs> I'm gonna get my glove and start drawing too. 
here we are once again. So okay, uh... here's the thing. Who's the Nana? Were you the one who requested the the um the chair G with the tiger like bikini thing? Uh no. No, okay, so someone else. Uh what is this? <laughs> but it, it was so, like someone in the server brought up the like chair should be to celebrate the new year. You see how a ton of drawings were like uh, about like you know the tiger thing, and it was just a ton of girls in tiger bikini. So someone, <laughs> someone requested like he draw a chair in something like that. Oh, I guess it wasn't you. It might have been someone else. I did not know about this until just now. <laughs> I guess you weren't there then. I don't have the best memory. Uh, but let me look at Pixiv and find the pose for that, because that's going to be a little doodle. I'm going to have me, I got Hotel Dusk OST in the background. We're good. Having a good time. My god, I'm getting a little obsessed over that game. <laughs> but then again, when I'm... It always happens. I play a game and then I like... Sing its praises for... For like a month or two. Yeah, Hi, Drill Tail. How are you? Sorry, Nano, you were saying something? I was just saying it happens. Damn, bro, one safe, bro. Did you use Pixiv to find poses? I said that, and then I changed my mind. Cause Pixiv, yeah. like I, it's hard to find like a specific pose all the time. Yeah, but I, I usually <laughs> go there for like the top drawings and see like, okay, yeah. they drew it this way. Like if this has gone to the to the top ranking, then it's like something I should do, right? No. Right? Oh, it's less about uh, pets, it's more like uh, character tags. Hmm. That's what I've at least noticed. Alright, let's do this. How do you guys feel about In N Out? I like it. Like, is that the, the burger place? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, we don't have that here. I've only gone once, and it was alright. I <laughs> I remember mentioning you it once. Yeah, good milkshakes from what I remember. The milkshakes are nice. Yeah, I had one. That's the burger where, like we went. That's that's the real burger. But it was I don't know. I I brought it up once, uh, a couple of times in some servers, and then like they were saying, "Oh, it's trash," and it's like, "Excuse me, who said this?" <laughs> And it was just so weird, because it's like, I always heard it was great, and then as soon as I talk about it, everyone goes, Oh no, it's actually really bad. It's like, what? I feel that way about I mean, I guess, I guess one thing that's not, like, great about it is just how popular it is. Like, uh, a lot of people sing its praises. It's a popularity and... thing? Yeah. Like, you either have people that are like, against it just like on that kind of like bandwagon or just uh, oh, so if, you're telling me if nobody if everyone just stops eating it, it's gonna become delicious <laughs> <laughs> that seems like that's how it works trying to remember like what i heard from some of my friends about it it was uh, definitely just like popular <laughs> to the point where you could like hardly even access it if if you lived in like california hmm. which like that's where it's biggest, I believe. Yeah. <clears throat> and like I said, I've, I've only gone one, so this is my one trip to San Francisco, and we made sure we went to one before we left back home. 
because I wanted to try it. I need to find a post for this, but I can't find one. What the hell? Speaking of poses, I'm trying oh, to figure yeah. out what I want to do here. No, I'll, I'll do this one. <clears throat> So that's the secret recipe. All along, that's what it was. Surprised you found out. It comes with an egg roll. Egg roll? <laughs> yep, it comes with an egg roll. But I don't like eggs. No, I'm just kidding, I do I like eggs. I got that fucking video stuck in my head with the... It comes with egg roll. But the white guy, it's like... It comes with an egg roll. Oh, there we go. I was wondering if my pen wasn't, wasn't working for a second. I can't get, like, I don't, I'm glad we don't have TV anymore. So I don't have to, you know, think about commercials and shows anymore. <laughs> but that means I still have, like, commercials back in the, like, like, pen, what was it called? Zoo Pals? Like, those plate things in yes. my head. Yes. Oh, yeah. Zoo Pals and Zoo Books. I still remember freaking like toy commercials really? they advertised. <laughs> what? Are you gonna. Do you have a commercial you have in mind? For like a commercial that's like annoying or whatever? Well, that like you remember back. That was memorable. Um, the chicken fries commercial? <laughs> I don't remember that one. It was a Burger King commercial. <laughs> Yeah, it was like a chicken the, uh... sitting on like on a stoop. Oh god! <laughs> he like, he said, "Hey, look at this guy. He look, he thinks he's a French fry." <laughs> I I have never seen that, but I like... want to see it now. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, you know, he's like, he he wants to be a French fry. And he's like, maybe I do want to be a French fry. <laughs> What? Oh, and he just go back and forth, and he's just like, "Well, then maybe I do want to be a French fry." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's stuck in my head. <laughs> God. How dare you laugh at that? What <laughs> 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 the fuck? It's it's really <laughs> it's really dorky. Commercials have. They, you know, they've always been dorky. Back when television was trying to figure that out. And then, you know, then it became just boring. I always remember the, uh, the, uh, wow, that's a low price. Oh, uh, yeah. The next wow, that's a really yeah. low price. Then he goes to the next cell. Wow, <laughs> that's a really low price. <laughs> That was fucking stupid. Commercials, I remember like... seeing some of the uh, the Phil Swift like flux products like oh, yes, actually in yes. person. Those are always God. godlike. Have you seen his uh, his actual Instagram? No, it's an actual I Instagram. Have. He is a crazy. He's crazy. It's he like embraces it's, the memes pretty much. It is incredible, honestly. Like, I'm sure he just wake, he wakes out of bed with the same energy that he has with, like, the flex tape shit. <laughs> I love it. Like, we, I'm we gonna brush my like fucking that, teeth. <laughs> when they when they shot the commercial, they everyone thought he was acting, but he was yeah, just... Yeah, house. <laughs> <laughs> but it turns out, no. He, that was actually how his entire being was. Yeah. Oh, this guy's great at acting. What? <laughs> Hey, we, you can turn you can turn on the act. We're, we're not filming anymore. It's like, what are you talking about? What do you mean? <laughs> what? I imagine that's mean? like uh, <laughs> like what's another like advertisement kind of like who's famous for like advertising products? Like Ben Soffer. That's another good one. Uh, the fucking uh, the champion, the slap shot ball. guy, the Shamwell. Billy Mays? You don't know who I'm talking Billy about? Billy Mays. Sham Wow. Oh, wait. Billy Mays is another one. Yeah. He died, though. He hit his head too hard in the airplane. Damn. Jeez. But I do remember the Sham Wow commercials. Yeah. That Those was, like, good. memorable just for the energy it contained. It seemed like 
So, looking back now, it seems like it's so low budget because, like, there was no special effects or cuts. It was just a guy telling you to try this and, like, yeah, pretty much. Did you know that, yeah, uh, the scout? Yeah, in I knew. Team I, I wasn't has, gonna mention it. <laughs> oh God, stop. <laughs> has, has some voice lines that are referenced to the Shamwell commercials. I knew I wasn't gonna say it because it's it, all anyone who brings that up always say that. <laughs> Oh, you remember I, all the Kids Bob commercials? Oh god, the Kids Bob. Yep. Kids Bob? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are bad. Oh, do you want to know something? I remember... It was Kids Bob and uh, there was something else. Now music. Now music. Death, sure like, no. we is took... that what it is? It was... this, no, 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 this is music. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah. No, that's what I that's call music. Yeah, that's, yeah, call music, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Death, like, we took a class, no, like, it was, it was just singing oh. back in middle school, <laughs> and me and my friend, like, like, we knew Kids Bop, so we knew, like, the names of songs, but not, like, the actual song itself. Sure. So we, like, picked a song, and it's like, oh yeah, this is, this is fine. Uh, but because we watched it on the Kids Bop version, oh, not, no. not the actual... Was it, was it quite explicit? Oh. <laughs> it had, it had one word we didn't expect in it. And then we were just like, we practiced it with the kids' boss, so we didn't know. And then when we actually performed it, the teacher put the real song in. Oh no! So for a split second, like we were just singing normally. Then we hear the line, and it's like, wait, I don't remember this. Like we all looked at each other for a second. They're like, wait, this is not part of this. Wait, is this the this real song? This wasn't our training. <laughs> and then we just kept going. We're like, oh screw, it, we gotta keep going. Oh my god, that's funny. Fucking kids, Bob. No. Imagine okay. discovering, like, fucking, like, the gorillas through kids, Bob. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Makes Hi, Karma. That sounds the, like um, an actual thing, though. Like, Karma, uh, yeah. Shirley Temple. No, no, I, I'm, sure that's, I'm sure that's a thing. Hang on, let me tell hey. Karma something, because this is from the, um, so, okay, Karma, you can hear me, right? Uh huh. Okay, so that that cannonball, uh, the, the impossible level that you have to like die in in order to continue the story. The game doesn't check if you're close at where the area is. You could just quit the level, and the game would treat it as a game over and continue the story. Death speed run. Wait, what? Yeah. I don't Wait, know. I, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. The lo the impossible level where you have to go through like four iron walls and then you get to the impossible fortress that will you cannot destroy, which then gives you a game over. That you have to go back to another level to get a catapult to we beat it in. If you go, uh, your first time through, if you go to that level before you know you you die and everything, if you just quit the level, it counts as a game over. So the story will continue anyway. <laughs> Okay, that's weird. Genius. That's what we call shortcuts in development. Or in code. They did they they, 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 didn't, they didn't bother putting a like a flag of how far you went so you actually had an honest try. No, they just said like, yeah, it's impossible, we'll just have a death a uh, death flag. If they just die, we'll continue the story. Also, I have this is the not chair's hair. I've been using the references hair. Okay, hang on a second. I need to get chair's reference. Do you what, guys are you guys, remember like, the, what are you guys? Uh, what are you guys trying? Commercials. What was that, Death? Do you guys remember the Shirley Temple collection commercials? I do not even know what that is. What is that? The Shirley I Temple feel like collection. I barely remember it. It always came out late at night, and it was like an hour-long advertisement about the Shirley Temple. Uh, uh, collection. What? I mean, that definitely sounds like a thing. I don't remember <laughs> but this. But I don't remember anything like wow. that. Damn. Maybe it was a regional thing. Maybe. But then again, I didn't see it either, so. Well, there was a lot. <laughs> oh, there was one commercial I do like, and now like, in irony, oh. um, the commercial started out with like this this you know like a classic like oh this sucks but you have this product and it's now better yeah. so it starts off with like a girl like uh, some woman trying to carry too many things so then the yes! product <laughs> i know what you're talking about 
Hang on, let, let's see if you know. Like, okay, and then she's, and then the product is like this basket you wear on your neck. <laughs> and then the curb, and then it freezes into gray, and it's like it turns into this other commercial of being like, "Wow, this product sucks." Don't you want to tell them that? And then it goes off, and it always tricked me as a kid. Yes, I remember that shit. I think there was like one or two commercials that were similar to that. That's fucking funny. I remember that shit. I was smart too, though, because as a kid, it was always I would always just be like, "Man, that man, that sounds dumb," and then the commercial would stop being like, "That was dumb, wasn't it?" Wouldn't you like to tell them? And I was like, "God damn it!" Oh my god, they read my mind. <laughs> this is a live commercial. <laughs> Who else joined? Ah, uh, I are. So, what's popping? I was work. Uh, I didn't. I didn't work today, but bro, it's like it's white out conditions outside. Well, what hey, are you doing? Go to work. Up. Go build like a treehouse or something, for Sunny, Mari, and and the others. Based. <laughs> no, I'm good, fam. <laughs> <laughs> so what you drawing, Cody's? I want to draw a chair in a tiger print bikini, because someone requested uh, that in the server. And I just need something bulge. to warm up and doodle with. <laughs> Is there gonna be a bulge? Yes. Damn. Uh, Actually, maybe not. <laughs> chair is Damn. no chair. Chair's model is female. So as much as I want to do that, I don't think I can. <laughs> still, you can still add a bulge. Fudo. <laughs> <laughs> Art is free. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not joking, dude. Go ahead and put, put the bulge on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I will. <laughs> I'll make no. two versions of it. I'll make two versions of it. That's fun. Do it. <clears throat> How do I make this kind of hand? Uh, I'm not gonna draw a hand. You gonna make all the hands? I'm not gonna draw a hand. Especially when I don't have a reference. You will draw the hand. I know they say always draw a hand, but if I don't even have a reference, it's like 10 times harder. Really always, is, draw, always draw the hand. But I don't, don't even have a reference. No if I always draw the hand, always don't be lazy. You don't have no reference because one the day you're gonna be like, <laughs> always draw the hand, and you'll draw the hand. And you're like, oh my god, that was easy. <laughs> I always draw like boxing gloves. If you don't oh. have a reference for a hand, I'm take a selfie that. of your hand. That's fine. <laughs> I've been exploiting that hack for a while and. I'm doing hands better after that. It works. Like, just don't I, do like, it as just... Because then you'll have very manly hands on your females. <laughs> <laughs> what if that's what I wanted? I've already done that. No, I don't. I try to get her away from that. <laughs> <laughs> I did something wrong. I did all the wrong things. Don't we what all if I just want to draw? Grapple or no? Damn, based. <laughs> Damn. I was thinking of like you, you seen those new designs for the Genshin characters, right? No, the optional ones, right? I haven't seen them. Uh, some of them, some of them are fine. I like, I like um Amber's and um Mona's. I know, I know, I know. Paul will disagree with me on that one. Did they hide her butt or something? Yeah, like it's not, it's not, it's not skin tight shit no more. It's just, it's a skirt. Yeah, I imagine it since Lame. it's you know, China and everything. Exactly, and then, like, but the, the good thing is it's optional. No, it's good. For now. For now. And you know, I was I was having an argument with um, more, more of a discussion with uh, with a person on another server, and he was like, "Man, just like dude, look at these horny, look at these horny people like all oh, getting mad about 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 not reading the whole thing and like just thinking that these were these are gonna be not optional and shit." I come in and say you can't one hundred percent blame them because look what happened to the Honkai Impact and the and the bunny suits. Yeah, censorship, it, man. And look, if you don't know what happened to Honkai Impact, same company who made like um, Genshin Impact, there were bunny suits for all the characters, but the Chinese fans were bitching and moaning about it for some reason. And not only did they take it away for the Chinese fans, they took it away for everybody. Those sturts. So, yeah, Literally that's, why the embodiment. that's why I can't 100% blame the fans for being afraid that this, this, these these costumes are not going to be optional, because it happened before. 
Hi, Oyasumi. How are you doing? We're yeah. talking about censorship in our anime games, preventing us from... <laughs> True. Like, okay, there's two sides to this. <laughs> when it comes to, like, the outfits of anime girls, like, one side is... Like, oh my god, why are these characters so lewd? And then the other side is like, oh my god, why are you censoring the characters in their original outfits? It's like, you yeah, can't win! Is, like, well, there's nothing the wrong is, with like, them well, looking like that. Genshin is like any other gacha game. They they know what they're doing if they, like, if they <laughs> gotcha, you expect them to be sexy. Bad. I'm not drawing hentai. Oh yeah, Sumi, I'm drawing... Uh, okay, it's kind of like hentai, but we're, we're get, it's Ichi. Let's, let's just say Ichi. 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 It's, it's an Ichi? I always pronounce it Ichi. No, it's Echi, cabrón, cabrón. I always pronounce it Ichi. Hola, <laughs> pero pronounce it Echi. You pronounced it wrong. I always pronounce it Ichi, because it's just... <laughs> My argument I mean, to be fair, I, did, I didn't know bro, if I was correct or not. The best way to read in Japanese is literally reading it in Spanish. I, 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 I give, so yeah, really? Really? hang on, hang on. I'm gonna give my excuse I do to every mispronunciation in Japanese. It sounds better that way. <laughs> that's what I say, that's what I say for Tiwi, that's what I say for other Japanese, like, characters. I just say, like, it sounds better pronouncing it Tiwi. Even though it's Tay, I think? It's Tay. Yeah. It, even, know, even I Chair. Japanese is why, why, such a why, why, fucking why, 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 cursed why, language. Why, 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 <laughs> That's still not good. It's just fine. I'm just gonna, you know, we're going through the motions. Also, like it's been a while since I talked to most of you. So, how, how you been, Death? I've been alive. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> you're alive. Digging holes. That's just like been in a wild, wild, wide at life and drawing. But I want to buy more stickers from him, so you know. I may be biased. One day I'll make more. I want to make Toho stickers. I, I, still, I, still, I still have that one. You, I uh, have that if one you do Toho stickers, stickers I will not let you. I will not let you stop until you do a praise one. I know no one would probably buy them at a con, but there have been people who have walked by that like know of Toho. So Why at don't... least I know people are there. Oh, like, just, do you oh, live like, next to? Oh, oh, it's actually becoming a lot more, a lot more recognizable now. Like. The last con I've been to, I don't know if you've seen all the, all the pictures I took, but there was like a no, giant ass group of people just cosplaying as, as Toho characters, and really good cosplays too. There was like this dude who was dressed up as Rand and had all the nine tails, and they were fluffy as fuck. Fluffy I've honestly fuck. seen less and less. Like I saw, the first con I ever went to, I saw at least like seven or eight Toho cosplayers. I, yeah, they, I, weren't, I, they weren't cheer now. They were like, there was like one cheer now, there was like one Soika, which is amazing and then there's a chen which is amazing and then there is uh like there was there was a huge cast of characters and then like every year since then i've seen less and less in the last con i went to not a single one death how close are you to california <laughs> how close am i to california the other <laughs> side of the states uh, <laughs> there's a there's I a freaking florida there's a Toho convention being hosted next year on I, Los Angeles. I saw that. I was like, really? fucking god damn it. Everything is always on that <laughs> side of the fucking globe. I you thought, hang on. You have MAGFest, okay? okay I'm not weird. willing to go that far for MAGFest. You have fucking Anime Expo. It's like the biggest <laughs> fucking con ever. That's <laughs> The closest thing we have on this side is uh, New York City, it is the New York Anime Con, but that's again New York, New York which I, I mean, I've been to New York twice and I'm kind of done. <laughs> I don't want to go back there. Are you done? In the KY, it's the only. I can actually. Oh, you can beat Toe 15. I haven't been. I've only been 6 and 7. Ooh. I can't be 8 for some reason. The time of Canada keeps fucking me over. And fuck it over, then fuck it over. Then. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, Art. You shouldn't do that to time. You see what happened to time in, in the Marvel movies? Oh, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you fuck time? I mean, Crony look, I mean, Crony is the master of time. I mean, I would fuck her. Yeah, master. <laughs> <laughs> I still, I'm really excited I saw that movie. Now that I saw that movie, I'm not watching anything Marvel related ever again. 
not even not even the Spooderman. I did no. The, it was after the Spider-Man where I, I decided uh, uh, until the next Spider-Man movie, I'm not watching anything else that's Marvel. Not the yeah. Don't become don't become a don't become a Reddit Marvel fan. Yeah, there you go. It collapses at the end of every fucking movie. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> you know. Uh -huh. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> Character literally, <laughs> character will fucking sneeze and they're in the fucking theater applause. The guy next to you standing up, tears shedding his fucking mm -hmm. eyes, just clapping his fucking hands, shaking his head up and down. I actually been drawing myself back to you. I just finished this like the skeleton of this body here. I'm just one uh, of you guys. Technically, I, I need to confess, I am kind of lying a little bit. I decided to not watch any Mormon movies after Far From Home. But because the Mysterio reveal, like, at the end was so good, I had to see what happens next, so I had to see the next Spider-Man, especially if they were bringing back I mean, the Raimi. No, we, we all, we all seen the new Spider-Man, right? Yeah, I've seen it. We all know, like, the twists and turns, right? Yeah. Raise your hand if you haven't. Big now will forever be spoiled. <laughs> okay, we're gonna spoil you. So basically, so, like, everyone dies. <laughs> I just love how they brought back the old spider man Me too. Yeah. It just it worked so well and it was amazing. <clears throat> what was that? Just realized the code for the safe in the more is the date for the first man on the moon. What was that? Man on the moons. What's safe? I forgot what's safe. I don't know, but Oh wait, you mean the bread back. twins. I didn't realize I'm that. I'm uploading this in the chat right now. Apollo 11. 7 20, 1969. Yeah, that's actually that's a super cool detail. Wow. Yeah. What'd you say? Hey. Hey. Hi, Kachito. Hey. The only thing I, I know from dates is the date of One Shot's release date, which was tw um, I forget, 6 20 uh, something, I forget. You forgot? <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Because because that's a, the, the that the date of when it was released is the solution to one of the puzzles. Oh. That's fine. That's so meta. Yeah. Right now though, I have my my phone's pin number is the date of when Amori was released. Very oh. secure. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for giving me that. Chinese hackers <laughs> yeah. beware. beware. You need to first actually gotta... come to me and get my phone if you want to unlock it. Chinese hackers beware. I got a bigger dick than you. Chinese hackers listening to this right now. Go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> cut the stream, cut the stream. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> fucking, I can't handle the fucking hack hacking like in movies. It's, it's so bad. So... Clack, 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 I'm in. <laughs> I'll just I try a like, gigabyte of RAM. It's not that simple. It's never that goddamn simple. Hacking through the mainframe. <laughs> They're hacking through the mainframe. <laughs> it, oh well, uh, just, it's art. It's, the it's not... Here's the, the thing. It's not that it's, like, that simple. It's more of, like, like it's not that interesting or, like, that... No. You know. It really isn't. It, it really like, isn't. you either have... A, a movie that makes it seem super easy and using, like, wrong technique technicals like saying i'll oh, just a gigabyte of ram would work or i'm sending in like i'm ha i'm destroying the mainframe or something like that without rhyme or reason everything, everything is connected to the mainframe yeah um and then freaking <laughs> i can't even continue that's so Dude, embarrassing call of duty guided the uh, fucking guided missile with the Yana's her. Oh, oh shit. Cool. That's great. Yeah, Yasumi, you're right. Amorio's released on Christmas because that's when Sonny gets his violin. So when you play the game, it's basically you like you started the journey already. Well, so, I mean, that was literally the tagline of the game, even. I mean, if you check the Amori website, the description read, the truth is your journey is already over. You just have to remember it. You just gotta remember. You remember, remember? Damn, you just spoil it for me. I'm, like... I'm telling you. <laughs> no, right. there, not there's me. nothing. There's nothing. There's not. There's nothing spoilery of that. But that's just there's like spoiler. it's all the spoilers. It, it's not. It's just like a little Easter egg of the release date being part of, you know, the meta. He's lying. Oh, you know, death. I should tell you. Fucking to the moon. 
is another like very cheap rpg maker game uh, it's released by big fish games which is like a crappy like shovelware game but they publish like they publish some really good gems apparently uh for, yeah. a, second, I, for a second i thought you meant chucklefish i was like chucklefish is great Ch wait what chucklefish versus the uh what, what you were talking about big fish games yeah the uh, almighty fish uh, i remember uh, what are you saying so it was just like when when I played to the moon because Oliver requested me to play it, like I saw the logo and I was like, "Whoa, this company published this game? What the hell?" Uh, Are you sure? Because yeah, because it made it. It's just uh, all I know from that company is it published uh, shovelware games to see a beautiful game like to the moon is like kind of wow. Oh, uh, interesting. Well, I mean, they could have published it. Did they actually or did they actually make it? No, they didn't make it. They just published it. The Greater has made like two other games after. Oh, gotcha. Which I I need to play someday. To the Moon is like super wholesome but super bittersweet. It really is though, man. But that's what I like about it, because that's also like what I like about Spider-Man a lot too, is how the stories are very, they're very wholesome, but they're also very bittersweet because they never end with a happy ending. True. When was the last time Spider-Man had a happy ending? Um, when he got married to Mary Jane. Yeah, how'd that turn out in Spider-Verse? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you look at the actual comics, uh, he actually has a really good life. He's actually... Him and Mary Jane are actually one of the few good, like, actual good couples in, in, in comics. <laughs> well, I mean, comics don't matter because they always change the story because they'll never let them die because they can keep changing the story because they can keep hiring new people to write the same story. But it's always different at the same time. Like, that's what's cool. There is, and it's not. But, it's consistent, almost, but consistently speaking, Spider Man and Mary Jane, or Peter Parker and Mary Jane, always been just like the peak of like good couples in, in comic verses, especially hero comic books. Oh, yeah. Tied yeah to it's like, the, only, the only one that rivals them is, um, is, uh, Clark, Clark Kent and, um, what's her name again? Lois. Yeah, yeah Lois Lane. Oh, yeah. There's a little film that's really cool. Well, maybe not a little film, but just like a sp Superman special thing where he's, like, given the last few days to live. So it's, like, this whole, like, making, just making ends meet, basically. And he gives, like, this potion that gives Lois, like, his powers for, like, a day. So then Lex steals it uh, and uses it for himself. And he's he's fucking, like, so, like you don't realize how big his ego is until you have that. Yep. <laughs> Literally. He he, it's one of the few times Lex Luthor actually becomes humbled. What like he gets what he wants? He gets to become Superman and then realizes and like, he oh shit! How he actually is being like Superman? He actually feels everything. Like sees the the, the feudalness of of life in general, but he realizes that despite that, Superman is still a good person, and he just becomes humbled by that. Yeah, so good. That's a good, really good moment. Yeah. Oh yeah, Sumi, you can spit out random Omori facts. Just don't make it spoilers because Death hasn't played the game yet. Make it all make it all the spoilers. Bastards. <laughs> we also I'm also waiting for the Undertale stream now death. What's that? I'm on I'm I'm now waiting for the Undertale stream. Yeah, I definitely want to do that now. That's not gonna happen. <clears throat> I did no, it, it will happen because I gifted it. <laughs> he was he was talking about playing it in his stream and then in a while I was like, oh okay. So I went to check and like uh Undertale was for two dollars. So I just went like alright, that's an easy buy. <laughs> Right. Yeah, there's a couple of games I want to play and stream. I want to play it through all the base combat too, all the fucking games. And I also want to play fucking uh, Earthbound, and uh, I want to play fucking Braid because I never played that. I want to play that. Fucking, uh, I'll be there for Earthbound. I love Earthbound. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to like what? Wouldn't I have to like emulate or some shit? Um, you're, gonna play, you're gonna have to play through Mother, uh, Toko Mother, and Toko Mother too. You don't have a switch, do you? No. Oh, yeah, you don't even have capture. Never. Yeah, just emulate it. Okay. I wonder if there are any <clears> like <throat> uh, super difficult Earthbound ROM hacks, like Kaiser ROM hacks. Why don't you just do the one twenty eight one uh, one twenty eight items instead challenge? 
Wait, that's a thing? Yeah, it's collecting all the rare items in Earthbound by enemy drops. That sounds awful. Yeah, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah. Sh yeah. Sh 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 Conroy talked about it in his Let's Play. Oh yeah, he did that God, it's been so long since I've seen that. Dude, I was been watching the the old one and the new one simultaneously, and I laughed so hard when I just finished watching the episode where he collabed with Ant Dude, the guy who hates Earthbound, and then seeing the episode where he references that, saying like, "That's as smart as an idea as bringing someone, bringing a friend that hates Earthbound to do a collab." <laughs> but how? Oh, that's such a coincidence that Sugar and Ant Dude like knew each other before. They did their stuff. I mean, Chuck, I gotta start somewhere, right? Chuck started because of Proton John, and then he became more popular than him a little bit. Yeah, but but <clears throat> his true his true origins was with um, Antud. Yeah, with the whole podcast. That there was also a podcast, which then now I'm yes, thinking like correlating with the disc only podcast. <laughs> Alright, I'm sending this to the Discord server. Or split server. Oh my god, why is everyone chatting in my server? Because I can. Alright, I, I gotta check. Why, I don't know why I'm being so defined right now. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just here. Good, you know, <laughs> just stay here for as long as you want. I'll be here for a while unless this room heats up way too much. <laughs> oh, bro, like, like... Like, I had, like, I, I don't know if I could talk about this here, but, like, I had this hentai idea. Buddy. Go on. Sorry, go on. I'm just typing. <laughs> That's a way to open a story. <laughs> <laughs> well, I already, I already posted that. Already, I, I, I don't want to say the whole thing because I already posted like the, the some monsters and other servers, and I, I can't really post it here because it's, I can't really post new stuff in this server. But other than that, like when, when I, when I got to the end of that, I was listening to this super depressing song again oh, really? and i was reminded of this this depressing regular doujin it's not a hentai doujin it's a regular doujin i, I always wanted to always wanted to make uh -huh. so it's like well it's not not <clears throat> not a doujinshi but just a regular doujin of toho yeah, those, yeah, no yeah, doujinshi doujinshi is just, is you're just remember there's, there's doujinshi then hentai doujins yes that's what i was saying yeah. So yeah, so like it's just regular old doujin. I can't find the post that actually talks about chair being. Damn. Damn, Cody, you failed us all. <laughs> Maybe if we type in bikini, I'll find it. <laughs> pancake bun with the bun on the pancake. <laughs> no, they made a pancake bun that one. Oh no, the pancake. Pancake bun. <laughs> butter dog. The dog with the butter. Alright, I'm just gonna tag him from this. <laughs> Hope I don't get in trouble for it. You're gonna have to. <clears throat> Alright, now let's do some real art. That's what I'm trying to do right now. What was it I was gonna draw? <laughs> draw something. There are a couple of things. Um, someone's OC. Who are they gonna draw? Damn, they're leaving me. I might have to make another list, another draw list. <laughs> Oh yes, for me you mentioned something about two songs. You can you can say about the two songs. I need to. I'm gonna change the music. Maybe that'll help. Okay, so uh, other than like for death, like other than being on stream, do you listen to music when you draw? To me. Yeah. Oh yes, one hundred percent of the time. Same. You, even off stream, even off. Yes. off, off okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I can't be alone with my thoughts. <laughs> I've done it like a few times, but only because I have a stream up. 
That's fair. Yeah, I can't draw in complete silence. I, mean, I can't, I just kind of gotta be like grooving. Just depends, depends on the mood, like I said. I could just be drifting into like something that's like just mellow shit or just depressing shit. Just depends. Like if I do draw without music, it's because the music stopped playing. <laughs> and I just forget. <laughs> you forgot? Oh no. Yeah, I'm just like in the zone. <laughs> Some, so. wait, no, someone did send me the reference for their OC. I just need to find it. Who was it? I'm the first. <laughs> Whoa, you good? Huh? <laughs> you good, man? Oh, wait. Fucking. Um. <clears throat> Uh, yes. Death, I sent you earlier the, some photos, the, the stickers. Hey. I What's sent, that? I sent you like the, the photos of stickers I got for a con, and I also accidentally sent it yeah, to yeah, Ark at the same time. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, you weren't supposed to send me those, those pics of, 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 of uh, Pyro and Mercer then. I wasn't so. supposed to, yeah. I, I just immediately copy and paste it, and I was like, wait, wait, this is an Ark, like, this is in Death by Holy. I guess I showed you, like, I, I don't, I like, I wouldn't mind if you said me pick. I know, I know you didn't have, mind. That's why you just kept it up, and I just rolled with it, thinking it was on purpose. But now, I, now I know you're your facade. <laughs> she was lying to you the entire time. Liar. How could you do this to me, man? I thought we were friends. We are friends. I just like everyone. Damn. <laughs> Fucking quote from from Shark Tale. <laughs> Sorry, I watch a lot of Shake for this. I saw I watch a lot of his video reviews in the background while playing ahead. Halo. You can go ahead and leave now. <laughs> you never speak of Shark Tale. Shark Tale. Wasn't that the one with like Will Smith? And the yeah. Will Smith. <laughs> and the No No. I remember when I used to watch that shit all the time when I was a kid. I didn't know any better. Okay, both of you now. Now, but they, <laughs> come on, there was a ton of movies back then that we thought were as kids was like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever, and then later we grow I up. watched that shit once. And you hated it? <laughs> I was like, what in the fuck? <laughs> you were older than everyone then, huh? Yeah, then no, I was... in reality, I was, probably, I was probably like, what in the freak? Yeah. I mean, I'm, the, 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 the one for me is probably sort of online that I saw as a kid and I thought it was like, oh my god, this is amazing. And then and then later on, I slowly realized like, oh god, this is actually not good. I mean, I thought it was cool and you know, I was like, oh, I kind of wish they would finish that. And then I never watched it for like a while. And then I watched... No, I never went back and watched it. And then I just thinking about it, I was like... Damn, yeah, I wish you would go back this more bit. Lame. <laughs> What was that? Ark, did you say something? No, no, no. <clears throat> All right. Just dumb. I'm still trying to find a pose for... Actually, you know what? This will work well. God, why doesn't your freaking gun have to be more more complicated looking than her, than her actual outfit? What? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at a gun reference. Oh. Ah. And the draw has to be. Um, guns are easier to draw than people. Well, I mean, the guns are, yeah, but it's like, her, the design of, like, the actual, like, golden print designs on it is actually really complicated. Oh, fuck all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just talking about, like, a normal gun. No, no, they like, add, she has, like, like that a, she has, like, a, it's, like, the old-fashioned, like, 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 <laughs> like, like, type of gun, but she has, like, golden imprints on it and all that shit. Oh. Oh, is that is that one of those characters from uh, Blue Archive? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. I think I remember seeing something like that, and I was like, "Oh, it's like a gun game." But then I see all like ornate decals and shit on the guns. I was like, oh, "Okay, that's like fantasy esque." Pretty much. I mean, these girls literally don't have to wear body armor because apparently they they could take a few shots from bullets. Yeah, I remember. I played. It's funny. It's weird too. It's like, yeah, they could take a bullet, but we we can't. Apparently, we don't have like the halo thing. I guess that protects them from. Oh yes, yes to me. I see you posting in the server. <laughs> Only Cody would get this place as pancake on top of bunny, bunny. Dude, oh, mighty bunny pancakes. I'm so hungry. <laughs> pancake burgers. Uh, never mind. Yeah, you can talk about that. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> see, I did my job. Now you're not hungry no more. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> what about pancake burgers? 
I need just about anything right now. Fucking. No, for real though, like with a pancake burger, you just, just take a burger and use pancakes as the bread. But okay, Ark, yeah, there was uh, one point where I was desperate for a burger that I used like regular bread the as the one. as the bun. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, but it was uh, still not... like why. It's also, just, thank no, Aaron Bunny great. for having too much money and actually subscribing. Wow. Hi, Aaron. Wait, what? Aaron Bunny subbed. That's what. That's what it is. The buns. Aaron. Aaron. You, you, they're in the server, you know. Aaron Bunny, the one that's in the Minecraft server. Know them. You don't know that them. I have to check at some point. Hi, Aaron. We're doing art. You want to join us? I'm not streaming on my art because my art sucks. Can your computer take streaming? It can. But I don't want to stream it. I mean, oh, you, 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 could, you, you could just do. You could just do it. Just, just. I, I mean, I, I could, but I won't. But you, you, sh you, you, you can, and you should. I mean, I could, but I won't. I, 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 I need the money, <clears throat> Ark. I need the money. money. I need, I need the stream money. Well, I, I need money too, but you don't want, you don't see me begging for it. <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Here's a question. How many of you guys have ever played a visual novel? Not a dating sim, a visual novel. There are a difference. Don't get the Gilead Club yes. does not count. What do you mean? They're technically, they're technically considered visual novels, though. Yeah, they are. <laughs> but, okay, but oh. other than the popular and free Doki Doki Gilead Club. Oh, I've played uh, Katara Showed You. That's a given, though. Okay, fair I played Grisaille, Fruits of Grisaille, which is fucking great. It's really long, but it's fucking great. But uh, yeah, I don't think I have. I might have. Uh, it's just fucking Hotel Dust really now got me into visual novels, even though I know they're not going to be as good as that one. I know I downloaded it. I don't know. You should play Katara yeah. Shoji. That one's like free and. Uh... It's really good. Teeth. I'll try it. I'll see if I can get in it. Cause Chair five said five roots of depressing stories. <laughs> okay, like here's, here's oh, yeah, the thing. I was, I, was thinking, I was thinking of a depressing ass dojin I want to make. Here, I'll, I'll talk about it later when, when, when we're done talking about this. Doki Doki Love Stomp is where it's at, and it came out before Doki Doki Literature Club. Hmm, interesting. Oh, actually, speaking of coming out before that, I remember, you know, that Doki Doki, like, you know, that and one shot is getting a console port, right? I mean, Doki Doki Literature Club already has a console port. Okay, well, uh, okay, that one already has a port, but also one shot is getting uh, a port, right? What's going on? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, it's getting a, it's yeah, it's getting a, a console port. But when they showed off the the menu, like the when like the computer menu to do you know fourth wall breaky stuff, there was like people saying that like they're copying off of Doki Doki Literature Club, and I remember commenting <laughs> just being like, "It's a desktop. How are you not supposed to copy that?" Bro, it's like it's like those people who were like, who see whenever they see Akihabara in any other game, they say, "Oh, look, it's it's, it's Persona 5." <laughs> like, no, this it's is a real place. You can go the there outside of the game. They say that unironically. The fucking they sad face. They probably go there and be like, "It's a theme park of Persona theme park." <laughs> it's like the cringiest shit ever. Like, bro. Give me, yeah, so okay, give like, me some really? context behind that, cause I don't know about Persona. Well, Persona 5 takes place, like, in Tokyo, and the main main hub is Akihabara. You know what Akihabara is, right? Yeah. Like, it's, like, the main place for Tokyo, like, shopping. And there's, like, and then you see, like, a couple video games, like, taking place in Tokyo 2, and you see, like, you see gameplay in Akihabara, and people saying, Look! It's, it's, look, they're copying, they're copying Persona 5. Okay, yeah, and I can see that being dumb. It's like those, those Fortnite kids. Yeah. Look, it's also from Fortnite. Look, it's a grass. <laughs> it's a Fortnite. grass. Look, it's a grass field. It's like Fortnite. Fortnite. Look, it's a town. It's like to, a uh, town. We're all the guns. I'm not, I'm not the world ends with you, Neo. Was basically just everyone memed it to death because it was like, yo, is this Persona Five? <laughs> oh I'm not God. gonna lie though. Also, Jesus, Aaron Bunny. I almost wanted to play. That's scary, considering Fortnite I have acrophobia. They, they, I almost wanted to play Fortnite when they when they released. 
El Chapulín Colorado. I didn't realize. Sorry, sorry. Ark. I'm, I'm... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was looking at Aaron's bunny, uh, bunny's post about like being on top of a mountain and like say like, man, I would be so scared because I have acrophobia. And I didn't realize oh, that's the, the snowboard they have is one shot themed. Anyways, like sorry. I said, I was I sorry, want to sorry for Fortnite. interrupting, but I had to say that. I almost want to play Fortnite because they they introduced El Chapulín Colorado. Oh, I saw gosh. that right. <laughs> and the thing is, they did it so well though. Like they like had him in a proper pose. Uh, they had him in this actual pose and shit. They did it's like a grass so well. They actually followed to the point. I'm like, holy shit. No, 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 contamos contra mi astucia. Like holy shit. I was surprised to see that too. I was just like, that's cool, but I'm not Mexican enough to really care <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> no, I'm not surprised. You wait, watch Wolfpack. Listen. Hey, just you wait. Just you wait. One day they're going to add Harriet Tubman. July. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, remember that thing they did? The, the She'll have MLK a cloaking thing? ability. They did that MLK thing on Fortnite. Oh, I would <laughs> God. Hard, I did. did they, they really do that? that? Yeah. Did they really add <laughs> Wait, they did what now? They like did they played add the... him? No, they, they didn't make him a character. Like they, they, they played the MLK, you know oh. the oh, whole like the thing. Be... They played it in game or something. Exactly? Okay. I honestly thought you were about to tell me that they made him a character. That would be so messed up. Oh, did uh did Dakota, did you see the last bit of my stream? I have, uh, I mean, for the, like, until you ended it, yeah, I was there listening. Yeah, so <laughs> somebody said, first time viewer, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And they're like, oh, big fan of your work, but I must ask, in the next question, are you black? And I was like, okay. I was like, but you don't I mean, I, I guess, I'm guessing that would probably have, uh, like, given it away about, it's like, Sure. <laughs> like, I guess I guess okay. maybe it's the same thing like about Donkey. Like people when people ask Donkey, like the video game reviewer. Yeah, true. I thought that was funny. But it, yeah, it definitely is kind of <laughs> funny. <laughs> Alright. Are you are you that black man? Are you that black man? man? But are due to licensing man? issues that could not prevent players from doing the whipping animation in the MLK event. <laughs> that that's a very oh. interesting animation. Or the information, Aaron Bunny. But it's not important right now. Now goodbye. I need to get this person's hair, right? Well, yeah, I just remember, like, Happy seeing that, I'm like, they really doing that? Like, why? <laughs> it was like, wait. If there's a way to make fun of a game and an icon, the internet will take it. They will. Oh, they will. It is rare to see the internet having some sort of, like, Chill. mutual <laughs> respect for each other. <laughs> you know how 143 is a significant moment in Mori? No, I do not. I never noticed. What do you mean, though? Nothing. Yeah, I mean, he's just giving, like, a Mori fun facts for, like, a ton of Easter eggs and such. <laughs> uh, a lot of it is, like, really freaking cool, too. It's, like, just regular, like, detail you never noticed. Kind of, kind of like, um, like, Marvel Easter eggs. It's not, like, not really important, but it's, like, huh. That's cool. They're there. They're like there. like yeah. putting the license plates in Spider-Man movies, like referencing a comic. Pretty much, yep. True. And then, then a little subliminal message pops up on the screen. This is the part where you stand up and clap. <laughs> clap. Clap, <laughs> I said. This is the part where you take out your phone, take a picture of it, and post it to Reddit. Do that now. Put on your 3D uh, glasses on. I was just about to say that. <laughs> I stopped. So I'm sorry. Uh, what an era. <laughs> Where every movie was 3D. Uh, man, they, they were like so in your face about it, literally. They would literally have scenes in, in every movie where it's just like, this is the part where the 3D happens. And it would just so, go, oh. boing, 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 and it's fucking like, have, like, just, like, Yeah, boing, it'll always like, have, like... I mean, if have you ever looked, looked back at the, um, My Kids 3D? Yes, I... That's God. God, it's so freaking... Like, whoa, I'm pissing right into your face! <laughs> whoa, the it's like, it's... is all up in my face! And then the theater, the theater literally shoots water at you and shit. 
and it's like, oh, well. I think, that, I think that's 4D actually. Uh, it feels so uh, bad because I like good. that. I like that movie as a kid, and honestly, I still like it now for how stupid it is. But what you, you say? Know. What you say? He's that I, guy. I like that movie as a kid, but I still like it today for how stupid it is. The guy. Yeah. The guy was a pretty good movie. You know what's you know what's really scary to me about Spy Kids 3D? What? You can turn it into a sort of online plot and it will work. It does. I mean, it is. Oh <laughs> it's pretty God. much is. Because not also knowing how stupid Soda Online is, put them together, you get retarded. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, the Sword Art Online plot is not original at all, it really is. and it's crazy how similar they are. Okay, the if only I, different is if, that one has more jokes. If I can go into like a rant of Sword Art Online, like the purpose of the entire series is how making the real the virtual world as important as the real world. But wouldn't you want to have both to make it seem a comparable, not be stuck in one? Because when you're stuck in a virtual world, of course it's important. You'll die if you if you don't <laughs> escape. Well, yeah, that's just that's just you know making yeah. pe- making people play the game, which is kind of retarded. I don't know, like this is a but like <clears throat> it has to be yeah, like a, it has to be. I shouldn't say actually. That's why I will always appreciate Sword on the Bridge because look. Look, I'm gonna say this right here. I consider Sorlain a bri- line the bridge the best bridge out there. Even better than Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. And here's why. Dragon like yes, Dragon Ball Z's uh, Dragon D B Z A is an amazing uh, bridge series. Like they did a lot of work in it. <clears throat> still in the end of the day, you can still go back and watch the original D B Z and still enjoy it. But unlike <laughs> me and Paul Online, wants to me and Paul wants to go through the entire go back series. And watch like... the original and enjoy it that much. Because they pretty much fixed the series. Yeah. I mentioned it a couple of times where um I've saw the I saw clips of the original and it's like, why are they doing this? Like there there are fixes that I even realize, like uh when Kirito is forced to join the blood oath of the knights, whatever it's called, um he's told like uh, like Asuna conforms in the bridge version. He, Asuna tells him, like, don't worry, I'm not gonna die on you. I'm not gonna die like that dumb bitch Sally. But in the original, <laughs> Kirito tells her everything that happened with the other with the origin with the other guild. He they got them all killed. But he tells them everything. It's not shortened for the viewer. It's actually like, here's everything that happened. So it's like, okay, saying all that made that episode now redundant and made this scene a lot longer than it should have. Exactly. Yeah. And then, and then the, the the minor changes like how they made um what's the name of the the AI girl again? Yui. Uh, yeah, Yui. Like they oh, they added the whole glitchy thing to her site, making it more more apparent that she's glitching the game. And like the original word just pops out of nowhere, just like oh yeah. Okay. It's a little it's a little girl with big sword moment. But now yeah. more 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 I say better because they add the glitching. This makes you say oh she's. She's not. She's not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to be doing that, then. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also they made that interaction so much more wholesomer, cause like she really wanted to learn love from the worst people in the planet. It's true. <laughs> God, they both were just terrible people in that in that in that series too. And that's what makes it so great, cause that's how people really are in video so- games. <laughs> I just want to know why they wrote the characters like that. Like, who, who is the, who? I mean, I know, like, you know, who, but like, is that what they think? Like, the ideal, like, people, like, interact with each other. In in the original or bridge, you're talking about. Talk about the original. Oh yeah, the, uh, like anime like has that? anime and just TV shows in general. And you know what? Anything in media, like, really fake the portrayal of relationships with teenagers. <clears throat> yeah, but it's weird because it's like. It's so it's it's either it's either very skewed or just very like vanilla or like very like yeah, yeah this is strange. how how relationships should go like no they're horrible no that's, no <laughs> no bro I haven't, I haven't been in a relationship and I know how, how they're not really like that <clears throat> yeah indeed some get close but never like oh, yeah, touching n- not touching what it actually feels like I don't know Toradora is really really close. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Ma guess, maybe yeah. some some animes that like is the focus is the is the romance. Than, right? Yeah. There's a lot more that. Yeah, it's just there's a lot of them, Arc, like, there's gonna, a lot that are popular there. Ark, you're about. gonna hate me yeah. for saying this, but I really freaking love the romance in Fly Me to the Moon, which is stupid because that anime is just all fluff. It really is, but it's but I think that's the that but that's the point though. Yeah, that's the point. It Arc, uh, Death, have you heard of the anime Fly Me to the Moon? Uh, yes. Okay. The, the one where it's just like, like the worst parents ever. Wait, wait, Ark, say it again. All... Yeah. Where the dude, where the guy, the main guy has the worst parents ever. And they what? left him with all the debt. Which one? No, 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 wait, wait. Describe that one. Describe it more. It's like the main dude. He has like he has parents, and he's like he was forced to be be a, um, a butler, right? Or am I thinking of another one? You think you have another anime? Fly, fly, fly me to the fly me to the moon is the anime where a guy literally ask someone out on a date and the girl responds with let's get married first and then they get married and the entire series is just them being married yeah basically the most unrealistic, unrealistic thing ever because <laughs> because the, 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 the one thing that two people on this year day and age want to do is get married immediately yep. yeah bro like that's not that's not gonna happen now but th here's oh. something really funny okay um if you read the manga there's a little like one shot at the very end of like this nerdy character like judging the the manga for being unrealistic. So this, <laughs> it's his entire joke of him saying like, "Oh, that's not realistic at all. They don't know what reality is." And then when they finish the argument, they go back home and they're all alone. And it's just like, "Damn." Damn. <laughs> it really be like that though. <clears throat> Neto, what do you, have you heard of the uh, Fly Me to the Moon before? And Nori too. I, I mean, I've heard of so. it, but I've never watched. Uh, I don't really watch much. If you, if you want really like wholesome stuff, just put it in the background and just like skim it. Yeah, like, there's some good moments. Honestly, I like uh, fucking um, I can't understand yeah, what I, like I was what saying. I like that fucking show. That show is so good. Oh, I... <laughs> that's, that's wholesome, man. It's it's actually in a way a little bit more realistic. Cause like when they go, we go into the each of the uh, the spouses like past. Yeah. It, it's pretty like, it's pretty good. <laughs> like it's it makes, it's kind of depressing, but it's also wholesome because you now see that they're like you know have yeah. like living. I can't I can't th stop thinking about the one scene where <laughs> the guy like the wife is working, so the guy like just goes to a friend's house, and they're like, oh yeah, sure you can come in, like because it's like Christmas or something or New Year's. Because yeah. he's alone, and then they're like, "Yeah, you can come in for as long as you like, but please leave before this time." And because <laughs> uh, doing yeah. the, the sign. Yeah, I like the uh, the, the the husband's brother. Because <laughs> like, every little time they start talking, he starts talking about some like fucking like yaoi hentai he's writing and shit <laughs> and all obsessed and then immediately just gets like leave <laughs> and always quick cuts to him being left outside <laughs> and left outside the train because because he's just too fucking gross he's like he's like oh he's like oh you had your chance he gets all horny and shit and then he's like oh <laughs> i gotta rewatch that shit again that's fucking good what's the new show again uh i can't understand what i was gonna say Oh, you know, you know what's another good. Um, what, wait, wasn't there wasn't anime? there a legal lolly relationship in there too? Or was it another anime? No, it's the same one. They were like side characters. Yeah, they were both one was college one was. And just like the, I like the image. It's like I don't know. It's usually an anime, but I like the image of being in a couple because this little girl in college starts t starts taking uh, giving you orders, and you just like are like, yeah, sure, I'll do this for you, cause I'm a nice person, and whatever. Let's see, another another good another good um, anime that shows like kind of somewhat realistic um uh like relationship is um is soon there children. I think that's what it's called. <gasps> yes, I was uh, I was thinking one. about it. Bro, that was such a good one. I think I everyone's you. favorite or the most popular one is the girl that's smoking and the like the very Yes, that one. <laughs> oh my god, they're, they're all were just oh my god. I like I liked all of them. There, was, there wasn't really a relationship I just like just straight up disliked. I liked all of them. Yeah. They're all in their own way. But I really like the girl with the who who uh, who smokes. I don't know the name, but like damn yeah, the, those in, were the, the funniest. In the, dude, in the present dude who's just a weirdo. 
I just I love the dub line of asking how much the dub the dub is the best part I love the dub of him saying like how much would you sell your body and the girl just goes like just says a number and then the English voice actor just goes perfect you take cash (laughs) no bro like the dub is perfect I say it's like one of the I say I prefer I definitely prefer the dub over sub 100% and the way he says it, it's also super, like, uh, so good. It really is, though, and it's, oh my god, it's like, uh, I need to go watch watch it, watch that show again. It, I really do. Uh, damn, I'm so... <laughs> talking about all this romance anime. Here, I'll talk about some depression shit, then. No. Let's go back to more, let's go back to happy shit. No, depressing shit, no. <laughs> I'm too happy. Fuck, I'm hungry. <laughs> Did you have anything to eat, my man? Nope. Not at all? Mm, you came, have, if you uh, came to visit earlier, I would have given you an in and out burger. I got some canned peaches I can eat. I mean, that's that's something. Bro, it is. In-N-Out. they're finally opening the in and out like about 15 minutes away from my house, and I'm excited. Damn. I never had an in and out burger. Like, they opened two of them, but they're like almost like half an hour away and like i'm not willing to drive like 45 minutes so they like expanding their empire they like expanding their empire because like, <laughs> we we got ours like a, a bit ago we're uh arizona ah yes i heard about what happened in arizona. like i guess they're moving east <laughs> they're invading i live i live in colorado so like only california i think i live in colorado I couldn't live in California because they don't have Waffle House. That's right, they don't have Waffle Houses, do they? I, I no, think uh, no, no. There was one. I remember. Fucking now, you now you're making one. me check. Hang I on, I remember Waffle seeing House. one. Uh, somewhere like in the capital of Arizona, like somewhere out here. I feel like we have like a few. They might have some in in Cali. <clears throat> so primarily in the. Uh... In the east, but uh, oh, damn, you're right. There, there is no up. Waffle House. There, there's a place called Waffle Chicken or ki- That's not chicken. the same. That's Waffle the same. Chicken. <laughs> how, dare, how dare you even mock the name? How of dare you even Waffles. utter? I you don't understand the I, importance I, of a Waffle House. I don't think you understand the importance of a Waffle House. Bro, I Waffle swear, House like, bombs, the, the bombs thing? fall from the fucking <laughs> sky and. The deserts of fucking the east and west coast are covered in just pillars of glass. Uh, Waffle House will still be there serving you fucking food <laughs> with a so generator you know and some sausages. You know how important Waffle Houses are in, like in like the like Louisiana and all those port hurricane type of places. You when my house flooded two feet underwater, you know they were there. Is when they close. Oh they yeah. Close anything. When they close, you know something bad and you gotta get the fuck out of there. Fucking Waffle House closed when uh, Hurricane Irma came through and uh, my house got like two feet of water and there was like all the fucking electrical shit was down, no food anywhere. Fucking go to Waffle House and they were open with a fucking goddamn generator. <laughs> handing out sausages and bread. I was like Jesus. fucking based. Yeah, Waffle House is amazing. I heard the stories of Waffle Houses and I also heard of the stories of people fighting. Yeah, you got a show. Sometimes sometimes they're they're fights and sometimes they're singing show tunes together happily. So you never really know. What a weird place. I clearly it's still amazing. don't go out much. Well it'll it's mainly because a lot of the employees are usually uh sometimes they're convicts. There are people you're you know, kinda of lower income because, you know, they pay lower. But uh oh. so they're like they're more down to earth people than like most Your regular workers. Business. Yeah, so they're they're always just like very loose with everything. They're not. Uh, yes, ma'am. It comes with an egg roll. It's more of a. <laughs> hey, what you want? Hey, bring it back, huh? Do you want? Do you want onions on that? Cause we ain't got no onions. But we do have onions. Or you'll ask for something on your order and you just won't get them. <laughs> I had that happen multiple times with, with uh, some restaurants here. I do speak up now. We get something so. wrong. 
I mean, sometimes I will, but sometimes I don't, because it's like an old lady that's really nice, and I don't want her to feel no, like no, she's no, no, I'm, I'm not mean about it. I'm like, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they all, like, very kind. I'm They're like, oh, I'm, I'm like, sorry, but, them. like, there's something here that's, like, not correct. Can, can you just, like, go ask, see if they can change, like... Or something like that. I'm not, I'm not gonna be mean about it. I'm not gonna be mean about it. But it's like, hey, can you, like, oh, I'm missing something here. It's like, oh, okay. Here, I'll be right back, honey. I just want to wait for the employee to go, uh, well, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> just check around and go back to the go to you, and, I, and, I, and I ate the food in front of them, and I told them again, I'm missing, I'm missing this. See, I ate it all, but I don't see it anywhere. <laughs> I, I want one day I could joke enough, I could be much of a jokester to just be like, if they get something wrong, I'll be like, there's something wrong with the order. Prepare it for a lawsuit coming soon, and then leave. They just, like, they just they just laugh at you, regardless of. I know, I know, but that's the point. I just want it to be funny. I don't care. <laughs> I I just want to I want to make the funny. I want to make the funny. But, but, like I said, but despite all of that, waffle houses are goddamn delicious. Take me there on the day sure. one day. I will. Now, whenever you get, come to Colorado. If there's a con that someday goes on over there, then I'll be there. Maybe. Just I wonder one day set up. I haven't a booth. gone to a Waffle House in a while, but there's one like five minutes from me. No, I think that. I'm honestly thinking about going to Waffle House because it's the only thing that's usually open at this hour. You guys would just love making me feel jealous, don't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you don't have to admit it. I mean, sorry, Cody. I have to at this point. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> I feel like it's obligatory to make fun of people who live in either California or New York. <laughs> Fair point. There's a lot of California jokes, and it's just like, I didn't choose to live here. Well, funny thing is, I, I, I make fun of California, too. but my, my, my attire is pretty much uh, solo if you go over... type, type of wear. Wow. Imagine being Cali. You go, like, overseas or anything, like... If you say you're from USA, like they automatically. Oh, you from California, New York? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. Hamburger <laughs> exactly. country? Yeah, no, I'm from Jackson. <laughs> oh, fucking! I love the hamburger country from that one yeah, anime I'm, girl I'm, in I'm, in VR chat. The voice actors from Pikachu. California, Los Angeles. <laughs> Make hamburger what, what, country. What the voice actors from Pikachu? Or am I, uh, or am I just tripping? No, I think that is just like a generic <laughs> Japanese one. Were you Pikachu. about to say generic anime girl? No. <laughs> <laughs> I almost heard a hint of the ah right. before you switched to Japanese. <laughs> there was a pause. I don't know. Shut um, the fuck up. <laughs> no, we're not, we're not, I'm not going to shut the fuck up. I'm going to talk more. Eat my ass. You don't have an ass. Uh, I, I I, gonna... Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I shit from somewhere. <laughs> my Hanko ass. I have an absolute dump truck. W as a dump trucks? Yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. That carries some loads. Balloons tower defense, sounded, anyone? That sounded pretty gay. I wonder if anyone has, like, seen balloons. Like, in real life, Prank had dressed up as a monkey and then, like, threw darts at a balloon. In real uh, life, somewhere. No. Nah. That's animal cruelty. <laughs> Not like a real monkey, like, it's just someone dressed up as one. Oh wait, are, are you saying animal cruelty for the balloons? That'd probably what? be even less more common because uh, people don't usually dress up. No! <laughs> uh, actually, Drew Six Toes did it. Oh no. Drew Six Toes. Just say oh, she has a birth defect. Yeah, Ma yeah. Make it make it like uh, Stanford in Gravity Falls. Oh uh, just Photoshop it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can it's fix it. I'm you fixing it. it in real time. Yeah, I think I'm done. Ooh. I can't do it. They don't call me death for nothing. They don't call me butt ass, ass head for nothing. No. Ass! Right. Fuck. Oh yeah, Ark, something we gotta do Twilight Princess. Oh yeah, we have to be a I really want to get that done, so 
We'll have game clear and then we'll have Twilight Princess and then we can actually do Skyward Sword. With a legit copy for once. Uh, which version of Twilight Princess do you have again? Um, the the um, Wii one, because I hacked okay, the Wii, yeah. remember? I don't know yeah. how to get GameCube games, so... It's, it's fine, like, the Wii version is actually... Uh, I do prefer the Wii version, because... Um, I mean, you, 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 because, um, you know how you do the, spin, the quick spin attack, right? Just yeah. The circle and then... Well, in the Wii version, you can just take the, the, the nunchuck and... Oh, like the, the Mario the, Galaxy the, spin. Yeah, pretty much. You have to check the nunchuck, not the Wii remote, the nunchuck, to do the... To do the uh, oh no, in, in Galaxy, you can check both. Yeah, but I'm talking about like only in, in Twilight Princess. The nunchaku. Nunchaku. Yeah, but I'm talking about like the in in, in Twilight Princess, you get you only spend the nunchuck to check yeah. the nunchuck to do the quick spin attack. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. I almost got the base done on this goddamn knife. Booby booby. What are you talking about? You draw a lot of lowly characters. No, I Ooh. don't. Name one character that you that you well, one OC that you have that is bigger than a B cup. Uh I have two. B. <laughs> yeah, that one that one commission I, I that one drawing I commissioned from you. That's one. I still, I still got I wanna reach all that. Better. Ow, my hands. What's wrong with your hands? <laughs> Fucking them. No, that's just like pulling them. <laughs> and it's like, ah, the nerve. His hand is sore because he's not on my ass. <laughs> Arik. Or er, not Arik, death. What? I will make that a reality. You gotta touch my ass. No comments. Damn. <laughs> I'm out. Bye. See ya. Later. <laughs> Why do I hear fapping? Uh. In your imagination. I said I was gonna leave mentally. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm still here. I thought I was going to be able to finish this today. I'm not. I'm still here. You think one more day will do it? I got to fucking like... drive all day tomorrow, so. Damn. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to get it done before I leave. But I said, bitch, I'm like, and now there. But I know it's always better to post on a Friday. So if anything, I'll just wait till tomorrow, tomorrow, the, t the day after tomorrow. When you're not trying. It's always my name. My I kinda wanna get a drink so I can stay awake. Damn, that's base. I think I'm gonna get a drink too, except this one's gonna be alcoholic. <laughs> nah, it's not gonna be alcohol. It's probably gonna be a soft drink. Uh, is, there, is there an alcoholic soft drink? Hard seltzers, I guess? Hmm. Keep that in mind for next time. If you're gonna go for a hard seltzer, I, I, I highly suggest getting Topo Chico, hard seltzer. Fair. If I if I want to have my first drink, I want to drink the thing Mashiro made when I was in the vacation trip with Lame. They, he made this really cool like blue thing. I don't know what it is, but it looked so cool, and I wanted to drink it so badly, but I couldn't because it was alcoholic. What was it called? I don't know. I forgot. I'll have to ask Mashiro later. I got half a cup of sake. Are you supposed to keep those cold or warm? Or like Depends room the temperature? Type. Oh. The one I got got for Christmas, it's a one you can chill. Are you chill? I am now. You're chills? Alright, I'm back. Soft drink means on alcoholic? I didn't know. I thought that that just I thought that just meant soda. What'd you say? Who? I got sprite. Uh, and I also ah, just right, realized there yeah. was I left I left nerds in my room, so I have nerds too. Fucking nerd. Well, let them let That'll them go. They got, they got math tests to do. <sighs> was that on a rope? Uh, sounds like a serious math debater. Indeed. The 
fucking this this game over music is so fucking hilarious. Okay, what, what game over music? Hotel Dusk. There's a there's a song there's an OST song called Drunken Waltz, and it's super hilarious because it always happens when you're caught for doing something like stupid and then get a game over. So like mo most of the game overs, like some of them are from like not revealing the mystery and like failing at some interrogations, but a lot of the game overs is like being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Like there's a part where you have to like, okay, we need to infiltrate this guy's room. So someone will make a, a distraction. The guy in that other room will go into that room and then you just sneak in. But if you walk in to the room that's supposed to be the trap, the buddy that's helping you is like, dude, you're not supposed to be here. And then you walk outside and see the manager there and he just kicks you out. Do you guys, do you guys have a uh, <clears throat> reliable torrent for uh, Kodatsu Party? Because I kind of want to play that game. Or uh, Kodatsu Party. I torrented it like a year ago, played it, and then I had to remove it because I was like, I need more room. Now I can't remember how I got it from. Erent, I had a I had a really bad joke <laughs> about that. <laughs> you going, Nori? Yeah, I just got these two sketches and I'm, yeah, I'm done. That's My it. Every, everyone, everyone has their limits, Nori, you know. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Also, <laughs> Aaron Bunny taught, said, like, soft drinks mean alcoholic and hard drinks are alcoholic. And I was about to say, I thought hard drinks were like when you leave him in the freezer for too long. Oh. <laughs> so you think wow, okay. I'm sorry, that's such a bad joke, but I couldn't help myself. Also, Nori, look at me. I'm also getting like two sketches done, and like, I don't know. I might color them. You know what else is fun? You know what else is hard, Cody? What? A fist on your head. Actually, yours is quite soft because you're head patting me. Maybe later. <laughs> now you're gonna, get, you're, gonna, you're gonna get a fistful. <laughs> fistful of jam? Oh, I love Don't Star Food. More like a fistful of jelly? Hell yeah. Uh, fistful of frags. Fistful. Oh god, that. I'll, I'll catch y'all later. Alright, bye. Alrighty. Love you. Take it easy. See you later. Bye, Nori. Now that Nori's gone, we can't talk anymore. <sighs> Damn, I should have ate something because that was just going directly <laughs> to my stomach. <laughs> Oh, you, you, you're drinking alcohol and just without like, anything right now. Oh, yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I was like, damn, what kind of want to drink? It's definitely making me feel warm inside, which is nice. Isn't it, I mean, isn't it cold? Yes, yeah, but it's alcohol. All right, fair enough. I don't know these things. I still think I'm an eight year old at times. <laughs> Freaking your <YouTube. laughs> tree. We're almost done with it now. But you freaking no the noises you make, just freaking oh my god. <laughs> Do you hate people that like drink from the straw when there's no they're, they're trying to get yes, like yes, you hate yes, that? yes, 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 yes. When they when I was watching fucking Spider Man, some fucking kid was behind me doing that shit movie hadn't even fucking started yet this fucker drank all of his drink <laughs> proceeded to shake it around slurp it the entire fucking film oh. uh shake it shake it like as if like there's there's like he like he could have gotten a good another good swig out of it you know after he's been fucking slurping <laughs> it for fucking mm -hmm. you know 30 minutes and then he would just be like Jesus. literally talking like uh fucking just all kinds of noise and shit and I was, I, at one point i just turned around and i just looked at him i was like what are you oh, doing <laughs> like what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> like what do you know like what what are you doing right now like take it take it all in stop stop what you're doing take it all in you're in a movie theater around a whole bunch of people no other noises are being made except that 
Shut up. I don't um, understand. What are they both? I bet you should have been like. It's, it just, the, ne the next scene friend, is just you fuck. and that kid in the in the alleyway just beating. Shut. I don't want to take him out. I'd do it right there. I'm sure I'd get an applause. People would fucking appreciate that shit. <laughs> and they applaud. Silence brand. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I never had any trouble with the movie theater, but maybe because I live in the middle of nowhere. I mean, usually don't go to day one movies. I can assure you that when I went to go see A Quiet Place, uh, there was no attempt at being quiet. <laughs> Sorry. It wasn't very loud. Bro, there, there, there was, there, I, I don't know, I, I liked The Quiet Place, but there were like a few like plot holes that I just like, nah. it, it wasn't like an amazing movie, but it was, it was a joyful experience, but ruined by people like, Oh my god, he just got taken out. Like, yeah, I know. I just oh, saw it too. No. Like, it's almost as if we're watching the same fucking movie. At the same time, like, no. I don't need to hear it. No. <laughs> I just, I always hate to do that shit. Worst, uh, he just, well, one I've of my worst say that? Like, movie theater experiences, at least in recent memory, was when I went to watch uh, Star Wars: The Force Awakens, like right, like around the time it released, which was a while ago. When that movie come out? Uh, uh, don't ask me. I don't know anything about Star Wars. Four years ago now. Five, maybe. Uh, 2015, really? Damn. Yeah, I don't Time flies? Um, but it was just like, it was one of those situations where you had like the fucking, like the fans in the same theater as you. Mm. And like it got to the one scene where like Han Solo and Chewbacca like show for the first time in the movie and you just hear like these like fucking three yeah. kids like to the left of you just like start clapping. Like, and, you, and then you dude. can't hear what they say because they were clapping and being like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I missed the uh, Tobey Maguire, uh, this is the quiet little high because of that happened. He showed up and everyone was like, <laughs> oh my god, it's him! It's the <laughs> man that we all fucking know and went to this movie to see. Let me fucking <laughs> yell and shit. Shut the hell oh up. Oh my god! It has to be some movie that like uses that to its advantage, like how there'll be this cameo, but th and they'll say something, and then the next line would be like, like, hey, Aunt, like, what was that? And I was like, oh, don't worry, it's not important. The people were clapping over it, so I didn't say anything important. <laughs> I hate that shit. It's like you do realize other people are watching. I mean, you have to realize that, right? You don't That's why I prefer know. movie theaters at a whole. Excuse home. me, fellow movie watchers. I'm going to interrupt your experience so that I can profess my clapping for fucking no reason. Like, uh, get it. I need to rehearse my clapping okay, now, going to a sport a event later. Now here's a serious question. What? <laughs> here's a serious question, though. What about, uh, like, drive-in movie theaters? I've, I've never, never been to one. I, I only Are heard of any them. of you experienced. All right. We, ain't, we don't have any of that. I have. I don't. I think Paul has it. No, Chair has experience with that, but I don't. Oh, I know Chair does, and uh, I know Trust does as well, because they have both went before to see something. I forgot what. I just know. And Trust keeps telling me she wants to take me out sometime to one. Hell yeah. I kept yeah. thinking they were a thing in the past, though. <laughs> I mean, as long as the, uh... I mean, I feel like the upkeep could be annoying because of, you know, being outdoors and shit, but I mean... If it's, you know, kind <laughs> but that's, that's a problem for people who are shut-ins. <laughs> oh, wait, that's me. No, I meant, like, uh, the camera equipment and shit. Having oh. the screen that's out, day, out in the fucking outside all the day. Yes, yeah, Having to move that shit around. Well, that's their problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, shut the hell like, up! <laughs> I imagine it's just you have just this a fucking projector screen coming out from some car or truck off in the distance. Amazing. With all the other equipment. I don't know how do it guys, works. Do you guys like to watch movies while you're driving? I like to get behind the minivans. 
with the kids going to school whenever uh, I go to work, and I just kind of like to watch whatever the fuck they're watching in the behind the movie, the fucking thing. Oh. Watching Incredibles one time, do, doing that. I remember. Really. So the the <laughs> there's this old truck we own that doesn't like we don't use it for. It's really broken down now. But it used to have little like mini CD players to put in movies for the oh, back. Oh the yeah. Seats. I they, have one of those. They don't work oh, anymore. I, I actually have one of those. Do they still work? Uh yeah, I think so. They have like a like they have like their own like battery. You like strap them to like the back of the uh like the driver of the passenger seat. <laughs> complicated i think the ones we have have like fucking <laughs> av cables like support wow. on them too classy oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh man i'm feeling that a little bit of sake holy shit, shit what, the... what i did done fucked it up yeah you fucked up yeah you fucked up yeah, you I really should go to the fucking Waffle House. <laughs> I kind of want to drive there because I know it's going to not be like... Because like, <clears throat> because of the whole, um, you know... Uh, they drink some stuff. Low income like shit. They don't have as enough boys, so you can't sit in the inside. So I'm wondering if it's even 24 hours anymore. Which is shocking. I mean, can't you check on your phone? I could, but I don't want to. I just want to be able to re rely on my uh, fellow Waffle House uh, employees, even though I don't really work there. So Waffle House, like hive mind. So, yeah, they're, they're they're like comrades. <clears throat> and like as a kid, you can't use the excuse, but I don't want to, or I'm lazy, because then you're told like, like, oh, you shouldn't say that. But as an adult, you just start saying that. Okay? I am using that fucking excuse. Yeah, you you just did. That's what it reminded me, and I was just I'm like, it's man, funny. It's funny shit. that that's a valid excuse now for adults. It's just like, I why don't, don't you do this? Want. And it's like, I'm lazy. <laughs> like, yep, it, is. it really is. It's like I only I have a limited excuse. amount of time. I don't want to. Fucking today, uh, I was talking about like yeah, I'm gonna have to take tomorrow off because I gotta drive up and get my mom from uh, <clears throat> like five hours away, and that's gonna be like a ten hour drive all day. And you're just like, goddamn. Oh well, you, uh, well, why don't you just call call your mom and uh, make make it do it on a Friday so we can work tomorrow? <laughs> and I was like, I don't want to because that's my <laughs> well, Friday, I mean, uh, and I don't well, Friday. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> I'm taking Thursday off so that I can drive up there. I've thought home, long and hard and about Friday this decision, off. and you're not gonna tell me exactly. Otherwise. And then he's like, "Oh well, uh, well, I, I, well, I get my car's broken. I need to uh, have someone pick me up. So maybe you should pick me up on Friday." And I, and he said that in the car because we, we were in the work truck, and he said that to me about me picking him up, and I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> to that. I was like, I ain't doing that. I ain't picking you up. I ain't doing well, that on my for, day off. At least off. for my job, whenever there's something like that, because uh, like this weekend, I'm gonna be flying out to see Trist. Mm -hmm. So like, and I've already like told my boss about it and everything. So it's just like, hey, I'm gonna be gone for like a whole week. And he's just like, all right. So what days do you want PTO? <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Like it's literally just my job is so chill. Like we just uh, you can just be like about like as flexible as you want, just with your hours at where I'm working. It's just like as long as everyone else knows like what the fuck nice. you're doing, then it's it's fine. Must be nice. I, I know not a lot of people uh, get that luxury. I I kind of get that luxury because I I work with a union. I get that luxury because my my one of my friends' uh, dad is my boss. What do you mean you work in a union arc? You don't know what a union is. I mean, I I heard I heard I I know the name and I know like what it the definition, but I don't know what the experience. Well, the union pretty much is like fucked. are there to make sure the employees are treated well. Fair enough. Which is funny because a lot of people a lot of boomers are like, oh fuck the union. Like no, you don't understand. <laughs> These companies are trying to take advantage of you. This is why. Pretty this much. is why the union is good. It allows you to have a fucking break from work. Okay? 
Yeah, fucking, yeah. I hate that. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah, or just overworked and shit. Like, people, you know, talk about government jobs being like... <laughs> but Amazon you know, said union bad, so we have to listen to Amazon. Exactly. Ooh. Yeah, it's fucking garbage. Now Amazon does, uh, finds ways to not have, uh, uh be unionized. Maybe you deserve. Uh, they're, they're oh, my cat is the union. I fucking really get, despise the commercials of like, like, oh, we like this. This is a great job. Like, I get all, you know, this is so nice. And because then no, I so look at it, I'm just like, look, um, I'm gonna be about about my my experience working in in the in the Amazon. I it wasn't bad. I actually was able to take piss breaks. <laughs> I didn't have to pee in a bottle. I, I just yeah. like that. But, that was, but I like that, that that's the high point. I like that you have to make that a point. <laughs> I don't know, that sucks. That was just what I'm gonna say now. I was like, that was probably the exception, not the rule. I just like that that's the high point. Pee in a bottle. I didn't have to piss I in a bottle, so that's good, right? Right? I get, I get to piss all. I get to piss all over town at my job. I get to piss <laughs> I mean, like, I, 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 I don't know if it, I, have I ever told you what, what I work at? Um, death. I don't think so. I work at a. I work in the construction, pretty much mainly like doing like road work type of shit. Like okay. Asphalt, concrete. And my job, my job specifically is I'm a foreman of cutting up of, of like a foreman of saw saw cutting. Oh, nice. So you guys we're, we're use wet. those, uh, those fucking, uh, rip saws? <laughs> and the, the big ass saws, like the walk, walk behind saws. Oh, nice. So you literally rip and tear in your job? Pretty much. The I living doom guy. With, I rip and tear with jackhammer. Nice. Mainly I dig holes. Jack that smiles, that goes. I like using the jackhammer because I get a workout. It is, it is, it is a, actually a pretty, it, it actually does, it actually is a pretty good workout, actually. That and shoveling dirt. Although, like, we rarely use regular jackhammers because we have a skid steer that has, like, a jackhammer ta attachment. Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> awesome. And then recently I realized that, uh, jackhammers, certain jackhammers, uh, have lift assists, and I was like, holy fucking shit, I wish we had that. It's like a hydraulic <laughs> foot that lifts the fucking thing up. So that you know oh, how to I've pull seen it out those. of the fucking like... concrete, and I'm like, oh, that's this is for when companies give a shit about their employees. <laughs> they don't want you to destroy your fucking back, which mine is kind of. <laughs> it's, it's pretty fucked. <clears throat> but, well, the uh, the biggest tool I use in my line of work is like a uh, it's a table saw. Oh, nice. Because what we do, we do uh, we make like camping chairs that are completely like DIY and you can get like uh like embroideries on them or like different attachments. Ooh. They're really cool. We're actually we're actually pretty popular in Japan, surprisingly. Really? Wow. wow. Have you asked them for Toho stuff? That'd be pretty basic. No. <laughs> That'd be pretty basic. What are you doing? On there? I'm doing something, I don't know shit. Are you judging me? <laughs> what was that? Enough? Have you have you had any like DIY orders where you've had to put like animation on them? Um. Well, yeah, we've had orders for like embroidered chairs, and we have like a whole like stitching machine like in the uh like by the assembly station. But have you seen them put animation on it? Have they have you? Have you, seen, have you have you seen them put a fucking like anime girl on a chair? <laughs> no, I think. Uh, Do you think they have? I think anime for the most part, fans? like a lot of the, uh, I think a lot of the options are like preset stuff. Like you have like names it's on there. You can have like. You should push. Sort of like simple designs. <laughs> push for anime. Some of the designs though are like really cool. Did you could push yourself cool. to like another level in your company by saying we should open up a, a section of uh, pre-made designs where you just have. <laughs> anime girls on there not even naked ones just you know no it's, just, it's, just it's not it's not it. it's not like complex embroideries or anything it's like simple oh. <laughs> simple patterns and shit. yeah it's not like it's not like we're making those crazy ass fucking like jackets or anything you know with like the the big embroidery designs on them oh 
No, it's just simple stuff. Bro, I heard, I heard. And even then, it's still I, pretty cool. It doesn't. All I'm cool, saying though. is that there's definitely a uh, market for it. No, most definitely there is. I imagine. I can slide you. I can slide you a three dollar bill. We can get something working together. As we know, that one meme, like when there's like, the, you see the dude with like the credit cards, like just slamming the card on the on the onto the table, like give me that, I'll pay you. Ah, uh, yeah, the the. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that fucking meme. That's my favorite thing ever. Oh my <laughs> no, one, one, one of my favorite old memes that passed that passed down is like the um, the slumber one. It's getting deep but slumber. Oh, I don't think that, I that brother's gone. It must be a Hispanic uh, meme. Oh no, no, it's, it's just a black dude singing. I've never heard that. That brother's gone. I like how you immediately assume it was a Mexican thing because you didn't know about it. I, never, I was like, I've never heard of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard many of a, a silly, you know, song. I've never heard of that. <laughs> Ark is in some heavy Hispanic culture. Oh, you, you know, I, I, don't, I, don't blame you. I, I don't blame you for thinking that way. <laughs> Maybe because I'm also in the same you. boat, Ark. I had, to, I had to explain to my oh, boss. I expect fuck, uh, it make me, it, uh, it don't make me no different. And he's like, what the fuck does that mean? I was like, it don't make me no different. <laughs> he's like, what the fuck does that mean? Like, it don't make me no different. <laughs> no, bro, I saw this video. I saw this video, like, it was like VR chat. And it was just like... <laughs> it is just this Uganda Knuckles going up walking up to, oh this, my God. to this anime chick. And he goes like... I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to say in Spanish first, and then, like in, then in English, he's like... Why are chiquitita? Te ves muy buena. Te poco flaquita, pero de pero pero tú todavía puedes dar este perro de hueso. Pretty much what he says is like, damn, bro, you fine as fuck. You be you be thin, but you can still give this dog a bone. <laughs> oh, uh, it's like the one where it's like, uh... oh. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, remember? Nah, I can't remember. Maybe that's a tagline of Delta Run. Don't forget. I don't I know, that's not the tagline, but that's like a motif. Set the box. Land on your right foot. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. Bring it oh, around actually... town. Oh, God. Class... Classic SpongeBob is so good. Woo! <laughs> Let me see if I can find that video, actually. There was, a, there was another one. Honestly, what? There's a fucking episode of Identity that changed my fucking. Alpha on life in there when uh fucking they like broke the fourth wall and like talking about uh what happened to Johnny's outline he just turned into fucking glue colors and shit and just like was like liquid on the ground and I was like holy fuck that, that was like the first experience the fourth about. wall breaking I was like whoa <laughs> Bro, they were they were <laughs> they were tripping balls in that, in that like the papers <laughs> were tripping good. balls they were they were that they had free reign of all and then like Ed eats the fucking cookie uh oh no, he, ate the, he ate the sun yeah, he, 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 he took the fucking the sun, sun and it, became a it was the cookie, and I was like, oh my god, this is so, like... What's going on? Am I on drugs? I was just like, oh, gee, I didn't... It really makes you wonder and shit, like, there was, like, the lines. How much and... control can we have? It was, like, weird. <laughs> speaking of fourth world breaks, I recently saw the Animaniacs reboot clip of... Yago being put through a portal and then it's like at first it's like for the audience it's like oh nice a portal reference and then Yago literally just up and says huh you brought that out of portal and it's just like huh okay they actually pointed it out okay all right cool whatever so why is portal though, being like, brought up all of a sudden like then it was in that know, geico man, commercial but, but like but but but, the, but fourth wall breaks wasn't really it was never a really new concept it was it was way back even before like um, with Popeye. Right. Yeah. Was, I remember there was, there was an episode of Popeye where he was fighting, he was like boxing against that other dude and he was losing. And the, there was a kid on the other side of the screen and he threw a spinach can into the screen and Popeye caught that can. Yeah. And ate it. <clears throat> no, I think people, whenever someone says like, oh, fourth wall breaking, it's amazing, they always think of fucking Deadpool. I'm like, awesome. That's not original awesome. at all, but. Yeah. No, what am I, I'm what pretty am I sure there's been like plenty of. 
My favorite Nano, my favorite fall, fall breaking uh, media ever, Kid Icarus Uprising. That's a good one. No, one of my favorite wow. subtle, subtle fourth wall breaking is the Joker in, in general. Uh, what you what want? About, what I mean is, like, think about no it. more heroes. If any of you have played a No More Heroes game, I've never, yes, I I've never, never played it. Never had a Wii, so I could play it. But the reason why I like the Joker though is because the only reason why he even acts like the Joker is because he knows he's a comic book character. It was because it, it, it showed, there, was a, there was a comic where the Joker actually truly believed that he killed Batman. And then he became sane because he, he knows that, wait, if this was really a comic book, I wouldn't have, Batman wouldn't have died. So he became normal. He started becoming a, 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 like a citizen. Wait, like Art, is it, isn't that just the that's normal Batman stuff? Because like, it's, it's referenced multiple times that if Batman was gone, Joker would go back to normal. Yes, because he would believe that Batman wouldn't die. No, no, no. I mean, the, the point the point of the characters is that Batman is the order, so there's always chaos. But if there's no more order, why is, why have chaos in the end? The the only reason Joker is who he is is because of Batman, and that's his character. Yeah, that's why Batman that's why in character. Under the Red Hood, when Batman he's normal, but talking to a a, a a version of Robin, once he realizes that's Robin, he starts to turn back into the Joker. Only to be killed by Jason, but you know, yeah, it, but you the, do what you the do. The main thing is like he only acts that way because he knows he's a comic book character. He's not saying that he's might be only sane. in one version, because like that, that that has not. I have seen some of the Batman like uh, animated films and such, but uh, that's never brought up as much as just no, being the character he, point. And there, there are other references too, but like like see, the reason he's super saying that he knows he's a comic book character is because reboots don't affect him. Whenever, like, when there's a reboot, he still remembers shit. Like, he remembers, like, if you look at the new, new the new Mortal Kombat game, he talks about events that shouldn't have happened in the, in the timeline because it got rebooted. But he still talks about it like it, like it, was, it was actually still happened. Hmm. Oh, he's a comic book character. He's super I, w I, want to, I would keep arguing, but at the same time, I don't know much about comic books to so keep going. But that's why I will shut up if I was you. <laughs> I want to keep going, but I don't know enough about Batman to keep this to keep going. I just know like the surface level stuff. It's okay, Cody. You don't need to go into comics. <laughs> yeah, fuck comics. There's just way too much lore to that. Besides, manga isn't the way to go nowadays, anyways. Hell yeah. Comics, comics would have been fine if they would have kept. If they would have just killed them when the respective author and creator ended it. Instead of just getting new writers to keep writing it, making new things, and then just oh, come real, real though, real though. Like, that's the only reason why I, I fucking hate comics and I enjoy manga is because manga is usually done by one person and you see throughout their entire run. And then it's over. It like, I don't care if it's garbage. I care that it was one person's story because it's one person's journey for, like, one thing. It's not someone saying, oh, I'm going to change it because I don't like it. It's just that person's Well, stuff. not always. There's the I mean, spin-offs. Yes. Yeah, there's there's the spin-offs, spin but I don't really care about spin-offs, honestly. Ooh, like I usually I well. don't really will watch a spin-off. Like Lucky Star spin-off, kid shit. Well, is <laughs> it about those the two the two girls? Yeah, but it was it was so devoid of everything that made Lucky Star fun. Yes. Yeah. Very Does it a was, soulless watch. It was not so much a soulless, it was just like way too, it was doing way too self aware itself and it was like just, I don't know, it wasn't the same. I got Staying you. out of the school setting, it, it did not work. Well, it's not... It could work, it's just the, the jokes they made with the two characters. There wasn't enough room for... Because what the main four and the side four, it was... There's the only main... two characters, there's only so much you can do. Yeah, like, but they, they could introduce some more. I mean, they didn't have the power. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's like the four characters Lucky Star is... Uh, otaku, shy, brazen, and nerdy, or just smart, just a nerd. And then the yeah. side four were where, um... where the manga artist, the short, well, not short, there's another word for her. She's a character type of something. The protective type, and then the foreigner. That's like yeah. really good opportunity for so many jokes, just for those four. Wasn't well, I mean, it was also just enjoyable. Mark. What was that, Ark? Wasn't there a clumsy? 
The pink hair one. Oh, pink hair one was, was the clumsy. She was oh, yeah, clumsy, she, right? she was like oh, the nerding clumsy, yeah. Okay, so she was just a combination, okay. But being able to have the characters interact with each other on multiple occasions and always being fresh was great. Dude, and I you just... You also have side, like side side characters like Ayano and Misao, and there's... You know, always, it, would, it was never, like, boring. People always said it was boring. I'm like, yeah, well, that's if you're expecting something to happen. You're oh, just, fuck, like, I forgot about... character interactions. <laughs> I forgot and about Tsukasa's other <laughs> classmates. And then, yeah, the, I, the, I always liked fucking uh, Miss Kiriri and fucking uh, Yui Nesan because they'd always have... The, the fucking ongoing joke is that they don't know is that... Uh, uh, Miss Kiriori does not know that Yunesan is fucking married. <laughs> so they're always talking about, like, oh, we just, we're just two single gals out here, you know, trying to make it work. And he's just like, no, I'm married. We're a community relationship. <laughs> like, nah, 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 you lie, you lie. No, oh, they were just, they were just, it was, oh, it was so great. I, it was good. Was so I funny. just like the oh, feeling of, like, not wanting to hurt her feelings about it so she doesn't say anything. Oh, she just, she didn't expect, she, she they didn't, like, it wasn't something that she thought she had to bring up. They would just always talk about it, and the way the. Uh, but uh, but uh, like she would eventually like realize, but like not say anything just for, just maybe, for like uh, I shouldn't say anything to hurt her feelings or like to make her feel bad. So probably, I mean the way that Miss Curie is always is always like depressed because like you know she's like lonely as fuck and shit, and she's she's like, the, like, the one she's the adult con uh, Konata is the thing. It was not. Uh, it was more like, I guess. I don't know. I feel like Konata is different because she may like she'll still still go out and make friends. You know, okay. she's not. Like, <laughs> You're saying that not only she's not married, but she doesn't even have friends. Jesus. I mean, it, it, it is implied that she does not have any friends. She spent the entire fucking week playing games instead of going out or talking to anybody. She literally goes and buys a cake and says, you're the lone all like me, and takes it home. The last fucking cake. <laughs> and she takes it home because she says, you're the lone all like me. <laughs> That's depressing as fuck. And she's a teacher. Home, you know she's fucking broke. It hits home, man. It hits home hard. I was like, fuck. I can say like, it, really, it didn't really like make sense. She's but perfect nowadays. life material. Yeah, she's lucky, bro. I would marry her. If, it, if it's anything but the internet and video games, Lucky Star is kind of timeless. It is. It's Even only... now, it still kind of is. You can still, no, like... Uh, the, Konata's jokes the don't work as well as they should now. Because a lot of her culture is now outdated. A lot of the things that she references no longer exist. I mean, there are some things, but I think there's stuff that even, like, you'd be able to understand, like, from a gaming perspective. Because, like, even though that it's not the same, it still applies. Like, the fucking joke about her picking out the specific order of the prizes that can be applied to, like, you know, doing stupid shit that really doesn't matter for, like, you know, gotcha shit. I guess. You know, it's... In a way, it, it's, uh, it still applies. What sucks is like, no, okay, well, I will agree with is some of the like shopping scenes where she's going to like stores and buying like physical media and shit. Yeah. And the employees are trying to trap her to buy like limited edition shit. Which, <laughs> honestly, you don't buy that stuff anymore because it's so expensive. No one yeah. does that, they stream it. And it, like unless you're like a diehard fan that collects that shit, even diehard fans don't do that because it's really fucking expensive and no one wants to pay two hundred dollars for three episodes. Yeah, like that I can definitely see being outdated because of you know how. I, I like the joke of it. I, I love the joke, but yeah, yeah. it's it's. Uh, but like, take loved... take the other three like like figuring out your new phone. Uh, yeah. having nicknames or like being afraid of the dentist that's timeless that's something that's sure. gonna be here for a very long time and it's never yeah. gonna change or the fucking uh, the sushi cafe <laughs> ordering too much and then having to like get rid of the fucking scraps so they don't charge you extra it's classic no other fucking shit. It's I'm like glad we don't shows. have that rule here <laughs> I'm, like... I'm glad we have to we can't throw away stuff without worrying about the bill god there's a couple places like that. I mean, it's like here, like, like Fuji Sushi and shit. Play $16 and have infinite sushi and shit. 
but like oh, I, oh man i love sushi <laughs> never but had no it. they 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 have their own tricks though fucking uh fuji sushi when you start ordering too much they'll start slowing down your orders like it'll take you longer for you to get your shit so that you feel fuller and then you can't pay anymore wow so you have to put in all your orders big like big and hard and fast go straight and that way you, uh, you get all your food for the night in one uh quick order i mean that's uh that's that's kind of smart not gonna lie those fucking cunts <laughs> I paid sixteen dollars. You made the deal. I want the food. Let's go. <laughs> Don't forbid me my goddamn food. Hey, I got, a, I got a, I got a art question for you guys. Post it in the chat real fast. In the chat? Yeah. It's not gifting. It's surprise adoption. Is it about big fat fucking tits? Uh, how, how does how does this look? Oh, I don't know. That's I fine. Find it. The rifle. Should she, 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 My first concern is should should she put her hand there? Yeah. Well, she didn't. She didn't shoot it, so like it should be. Other, she hasn't like. Otherwise, anatomy anatomy wise, it's great. Just structure is like it's it's like a weird stance. It's like. There's a there's a thing about po posing like making it look dynamic, but otherwise anatomy is correct. So you're graduating that. True. I so guess next pose, is you know. But also I just like Oyasumi's pose. <laughs> I didn't even realize it's not kidnapping. It's surprise adoption. <laughs> That's a classic. Yeah. So what you're saying is it's just the pose is kind of wonky. Oh well, I mean that it's just very stiff. Like. You like it doesn't seem like an actual person is posing, you know. It's like an awkward, like newbie poser, like tr just trying to be like, "Oh, is it like this?" or something like that, you know. But that's something you get with more the, time. Could probably bring the uh, the right leg over and uh, make it as if it's uh, for uh, pointing forward. But then you need to get into perspective, and that sucks. Perspective is gonna suck so much for you, Ark. I feel so bad for you. Cubes. <laughs> I, I encourage everyone to do art, but once you reach the, the need to learn perspective, just quit right there. Don't, already, don't even bother. You just gotta do cubes. Cubes are the greatest thing ever. Learn. So much really or you could just be like me and just fucking wing it. <laughs> I wish I can, but I'm not. I'm not that good. You gotta do cubes. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's every artist. <laughs> they just wing their art. Yep. <laughs> if we made a time machine to go back to talk to like Cassia or something like that, <laughs> instead of. Uh, and so we ask for art advice, and he'll just say, like, I don't know, f fucking dudes, I'm just winging it. <laughs> Probably. You know, when... I remember watching that one Lucky Star episode, and it was kind of test saying, like, ro roasting one of the Haruhi episodes. And I didn't get it, like, what was that scene about? Until then I watched Haruhi, and then I and then I noticed now, at, finally putting together the scenes she was talking about. And it's oh. like, uh, yeah, I see. <laughs> but I understand at the same time. It's a weird thing where it's in a case of, yeah, it sucks, especially for this kind of series. But also, I don't know. I actually like that episode. It's the very... It, shut up, uh, Erin Bunny. It's the very, uh, just very calming episode that just has nothing going on. Yeah. Something about that I actually just kind of really like for one, one, just one time, you know? Not like, not, not like eight times, you know, an episode in a row, you know? That, yeah, that seems just, ridiculous. It's a bit silly, honestly, like... People always still ask me if I've seen uh, Higurashi. I'm like, yeah, I've watched uh, up until you know they tried to do that endless eight shit. Like, 
it's a cool it's been done before it doesn't need to happen again because i mean at this point it's <laughs> not that like original it doesn't add hey, what's, anything what's to the story again? basically when you write when you write the same episode multiple times and just change a little bit to be like you know a oh, time loop. Catch the differences you know time loop shit groundhog days but those type of things i do it differently instead you know they don't do the same fucking thing over and over you, like, different you, can, things. You, can, you can change it up by like you know at least animating a scene differently and yeah. then, you know it doesn't it does not take like more than one one extra episode of the same thing for someone to realize oh this is this is like a time loop yeah <laughs> like nowadays Arc, i don't want do to you know that what we're shit. talking about i don't think so i don't think i don't think i've seen that anime okay uh haruhi suzumiya um let me explain the episode and then i'll explain you why this happened so back in the uh, in season two they go to the summer like vacation and they do stuff and then they're like oh cool okay that was fun and then they you know the episode ends uh then the next episode is th the same thing they just go on summer vacation they do things and then at the middle of it this time the group gets called in because they realize they're in a time loop so now it's like oh shoot how the fuck do we get out and then at the end of the episode they fail so now so it's like okay what do we do now so they just go back to sleep and end the summer only for the next episode to be the exact same thing with no memories mm. it was like that for eight episodes until they finally found a solution and then they continued the series everyone hated it it's one of the reasons why a lot of people dropped off of haruhi for some reason because it was one of the biggest animes at that time interesting yeah which is honestly pretty it's like cool it was a product of its own time with like that type of like oh we're gonna do something that hasn't been done on you know an anime before yeah. you know oh it's like a time loop thing but we're gonna actually make it as if you're experiencing the time loop time loop you know unlike groundhog day or any other time loop thing where they'll like be like oh this is a time loop and now we're just gonna have you know the uh, problem like, that, the problem was definitely that people had to keep seeing the same episode eight times yes, and like that's fucking boring and for anime where they're the easiest simple solution to do is just copy the same fucking episode because it's already done because it's expensive yeah <laughs> it's that's yeah. painful so that's here funny. here are here's the problem because people were very mad because that meant that's eight or seven slots of extra episodes lost because of this time loop thing no, uh, that's understandable. It's and real. remember, th this anime was released like every week, only once. So that means people had to wait a week before they get the next episode, only to hope that the time loop was broken. Um. So the reason how this they, happened, how did, even, how did they even break the time loop in the first place? Oh, this is—it's kind of funny, but at the very end, Kion, the main character, gets an overwhelming experience of like seeing his alternate um, selves, and he starts thinking like he just doesn't matter what it ha what he has to say, he just has to say something, and then he remembers, oh right, I never did my homework, so he makes an excuse to have everyone go to his home to study, which then Haruhi also joins in for. Which ended up being the solution. Haruhi never experienced a uh, study with friends at home. And that's what made her stop the time loop. Okay. So she was the one that was causing like, the time yeah, loop. Yeah, she was causing it. She felt unfulfilled of the summer, so she wanted to repeat it. Well, I mean, yeah, most of the shit in the Haruhi is caused by Haruhi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm not see you or live. so Arch, the reason this happened, like real life wise, was because when making season two, they decided they wanted to make the movie of Disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya, which is another arc. So they took those episodes out of the season two and made that into a movie. But that meant there's a gap in season two that they needed to fill. So they were like, Oh shit, we just caused the problem. How do we fix this? So then oh, there's no, no, no. So then they decided, wait, there's this episode about a time loop. Now what if and hear me out and that's where that idea came to me. Man, 
I previously and, shot 15 times in Dark Alley. What's and here's the funny now? thing. All right, this wasn't this wasn't cheap copy and paste either. Every episode has a unique shot, no matter what. I mean, maybe if you recycle ones, but either way, they made it very unique, where every episode had a unique shot, no matter what. Now the problem is, this wasn't just a problem with the fans. The people who were making it also hated the idea. The, if you go into like old interviews about the uh, the original dub cast for the English version, the dub English version cast hated the idea too. They were getting really bored saying the same lines over and over again. Oh shit. Yeah, the, uh, even the voice actor of Kiron made a joke saying like, what if, why don't I voice Haruhi for one episode? Come on. It was this really dumb thing, and I understand people hating it for that reason because it made no sense and shouldn't have existed. But at the same time, I really like that it existed because that's something that's never going to happen again. And hopefully shouldn't. And you hopefully, say that. It hopefully shouldn't, unless someone makes it better. But, you know. Say that. I say that and then yeah. what? I mean, Higurashi did, but not like a, the, at the same, like... It was similar, but not as bad. It was not like fucking eight episodes long. It was, I think it was like three or four episodes long. And then they stopped. Yeah, and I was just like, that's cool. I'm not doing that, though. I'm like, I know what you're doing, but I'm not doing that. <laughs> like, it should have been two episodes. Fine. Fuck. Like, I, I know what you're doing, but I'm not, I'm not doing this. You're, mm -hmm. You just go ahead and show me what you're going to do. I just said fuck it i'm not it just isn't worth it i remember when i was like watching the Harky series on youtube i remember watching the first episode and then when i went to the second i was like oh this dumb uploader re-uploaded re the same video twice i'll go to the third one ah they did it again and i kept doing that until i found that original episode completely missing the point of what that arc was that just says, and that says it all right there mm -hmm. you realize oh wait season two only has this like Three real episodes in it? What the fuck? The actual fuck? Where are the other episodes? Where are the lost episodes? Why would they lie to me? It's also kind of meta. It's also a little bit of meta of Konata, like critiquing the fact that the the writers like ran out, like didn't do anything after that either, like for the second season. Yeah. So it's like a make make like pointing, you know, <laughs> face. I'm I mean, at that time, it probably wasn't all that big of a deal because at that time, Kiddo Annie was still like a, you know, it's, it's like husband and wife kind of thing. Husband like, and wife? Was, what, yeah, Kiddo Annie was started with like a husband and wife. Like Kiddo, Kiddo Toy Animation. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. So it was probably like a very small, you know, thing at that time. Because at, at that time, they had done fucking. Haruhi, fucking Air. Well, they had done Air first, I think, because that's the show that everyone makes fun of because the hilariously like derby faces. Then hmm. they kind of refined it in like a no, Lucky Star. It's almost weird because they, then they went to they went from Air to fucking uh, Haruhi and then to Lucky Star, which Lucky Star has the same kind of derby moe faces that Air does, but not as like bad. It's like they refined it. And then, like, it actually makes sense because it's a comedy, so, like, you know, yeah. it's meant to be taken fun. It, it looks, it looks a, little, a lot better. And, like, the Lucky but, Star uh, style is very, you know, iconic nowadays. I, it works, definitely, for sure. It's like, a, it's like a good mix of the before and, like, after. It's like... The before times of anime eyes and then, like, the after times, too. Yeah, it's a little bit of both. Like, Konata has the most, like, Egregious, like previous. Cause she's era, so tiny. Well, it's, it's the way that they drew the eyes. It's so <laughs> like okay. ridiculous. And then they have like. It's very characters. distinct. Yes, distinct. That's I, the word. I like, I like to think Kaga it's uh... has normal anime eyes. And then kind of just yeah. has these big blocky, glooped circles globbed together. It's they're annoying and annoyingly hard to draw. <laughs> That seems like a you problem. Like if you want to like it is, a, it is a me problem. All of, it's like if you want to emulate all of the diff all of the different like JoJo art styles. Because <laughs> the art style changed like every fucking part. Death wins next. Lucky Star Lude. 
Uh, I've never done one before. No, you, you have one of Konata. Did I? Maybe I did. It might be on Pixar. I don't remember. Remember? I don't remember. Don't, don't remember. remember. Remember Happy Day. I uh, I want to get this thing done. You know, one, one anime, one, like, I like it when there's, like, those animes, like, that, like, they trick, like, they don't trick you, but, like, there's, like, a big surprise at the end of the first episode make you think it's as bad. Like, well, what's the name of that one anime I was thinking of? Um... <laughs> Sorry, when you said the, the twist at the end of the first episode, my my first thought it was Invincible, and I thought, wait, that's not an anime. Just stay <laughs> an anime, you westerner. Have you ever seen uh, the second season of uh, Code Geass? I don't think I have. No, oh, well, that's that's a good example of that. Because, like, the first episode of the second season of Code Geass... If you like, it's absolutely fucking weird. It's so it's so different from what you'd expect from the second from like the first episode of the second season. Like so many people were when they first watched it were like, oh, I this oh, is ridiculous. Uh, I'm not uh, watching wait, wait, it. Fucking uh, arc. I I got one. I got an anime that changes in the first episode. What's that? Happy Sugar Life. Ah, that one. Mm. That one's messed up. Indeed. That sounds about right. Okay, now I remember. I remember the name of the anime I was thinking of though. What? It's um, the, I think it's like the the live club, the live club. Oh, uh, your uh, Gaku 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 Garashi. No, I think it's like it's like it's about this. Zombies. Like, we're following... Yeah, the zombie apocalypse. Yep. Yeah. Oh, is this the one the anime where the intro changes to be more dark as it goes on? Yes. Yes. That fucking anime was garbage. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't bad. The manga was good. They just fucked a lot of things up with the anime because they were like, "We're not gonna go that far. We're not gonna do anything." Like, what? What, what is quote unquote that far? Is it just like basically well, characters actually dying? Actually, fucking, or? actually fucking like finishing the show and explaining everything. Oh, like they don't like the the. T oh, the... You, you don't mean you don't mean that far as in we're not gonna go that dark. You mean like we're not even gonna finish the series that far. Well, I mean, there's some things that they didn't explain, like, uh, who, I'm trying to remember the fucking name of the, I can't, it's, it's so wrong since I read it, but the, uh, the girl with the little sister. Yeah. Yeah, that, her, her, turns out her little sister is fucking a teddy bear. Like, it's a, it's a teddy bear. It was never a real. They were chasing after, every, everyone in the, everyone in that fucking group has, like, mental issues, basically. Understandable. Like, Yui, Yui, the main character, is like, you know, she's retarded, and that's, like, the borderline base of it is that everyone goes along with her delusions that it this like the school is still okay but the fucking <clears throat> the other girl that's supposed to be like the most mature one she's been looking for her sister this entire time and it turns out her sister is not even real it's it's been a fucking teddy bear that she found and everyone's like okay well we're gonna go ahead and go with you on that one that that's your sister <laughs> and then the fucking um do, wait, do they actually Jesus. show the, the fact that the sister is just a teddy bear, or is it like the anime shows you that there's an actual sister? I can't remember if they even got that far now. Because I think oh, okay. they talk about this, her sister in the anime, and they didn't even go that far. I they just really like the visual the gag. Journey. I just like, uh, I'm just curious you know, it, whether, <laughs> I'll have to see it for myself, but I would. It was a good, it was a good shock for the fucking, uh, in the, uh, in the anime, or in the manga. And there was like one scene way earlier in the manga that totally gives it away if you weren't like paying attention uh, and it's just like well fuck and you go back and there's a scene where she's hugging a teddy bear and then she's in the background and the, and the it changes later and you can see that she's hugging her sister and i was like fuck i should have <laughs> gone back and then the fucking shovel girl her thing is just that she had like i mean she just has had like trauma from uh having to beat up the person that she's like just confessed to yeah, and like she, she, you know, she, 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 she had to kill them you know the, but at least they got to that part and yes. the dog and uh i appreciate sure they got at least to the dog part but like they don't adopt the dog like they do in the anime they spend like three episodes like or four or five episodes like with the dog and shit like ah oh, it's a cute dog that she that shows up for like one one episode like one chapter 
and it's gone for like the rest of the show and then later like it they find the dog and it's like a zombie and shit so they have to like kill it or something did the, the, the they, animators just didn't want to animate the dog that but then they leave they, they fucking leave the school finally and they go to they go on like a long journey to a fucking college and they find even more survivors and uh they're 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 crazy and shit there's so, there's so much shit and then they finally end it and it's like <sighs> oh it could have been better yeah like it was good it was good it was it was a fun how, read how did the manga end I'm tr- uh, if, it ended like decently like peaceful like i don't yeah. think that anybody is, that died. is very surprising considering that every person had mental issues yeah like uh the miki the miki character which was the the white-haired chick um she never found her friend her friend died that she when she was stuck in the mall oh that one yes definitely. that was pretty sad i was like damn i hope she was like finds her friend when she died and no. uh no it was it was good i just, i it was more enjoyable to read the manga because it went for so long and it was it would steadily come out and it's then, like guanamante it is like one of it. No, it's not like one of it. Well, not not Wanamate like genre, but out. I mean like the manga is better than the anime. Because is, like I mean, even I, for Wanamote, they didn't continue it. I mean, I enjoy Wanamote because it's still going on and they like continuously uh, added to the character. Like she's not, not the same character anymore. Yeah, because like, you told me about it too. That like you just watch the the great. manga to a certain point when she starts getting yeah. friends. It's like the most enjoyable like slice of life manga to me. Like people always talk about like oh Komi san is such a better manga than or anime or something than fucking Watamote. If you've if you read manga, the fucking Watamote manga, it is much better because it it's so like spot on for like relationships when it comes to like friends and shit. Like not yeah. not remembering how people become friends, like how people how friends are like actually made. Like it's not it's all these heartfelt like oh you know do you want to be my friend okay. kind of shit. Yeah, and just I, like it just happens. It's it's so good how they I, do I, it, and then there's like an episode where they just like they're all you know at the beach and some shit, and they're explaining like just two characters talking about how, like oh shit it's already time for us to be like you know we're gonna be gone in a couple of months you know we're gonna be graduated and shit and it's like yeah. i was like fuck i remember that <laughs> <laughs> and i was like because it, it's funny because the entire thing they're like oh, i fucking hate school i fucking hate school by then they're like oh damn kind of <laughs> i kind of want more school <laughs> but like it, it's now really i hate good. school for a different reason we have to we have to separate yeah no it's 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 a really good read honestly once you I, get past all like the, I the, love the, the moment death where Tomoko like there was one when they went to a school trip and Tomoko talks like has just a brief mental mo- moment to just ask herself when did I get so many friends and like that yeah. was just like a, oh that's so wholesome like uh, it was the fucking um it keeps getting reposted now but like there's an arc in the in the manga where um she gets suspended from school okay. because she was caught uh. Riding a scooter oh. with, the Yankee, with the, her Yankee friend, <laughs> and so that. her and the Yankee, I was pissed off because there was not enough fucking uh, interaction in that in that arc. And when she's let when she's let loose from the fucking thing, uh, her mom's like, "Oh, we'll talk later when we get home," because like she understands that like she's glad that her you know daughter has like a fuck ton of friends now versus like in the beginning when she didn't want to go to school mm-hmm. like now she's can't she can't wait to go to school i was like holy fuck this is wholesome as fuck but don't don't you dare it's do that again huh <laughs> I, I, I just, I just like it, she's like the mother's so happy that she has friends now but I, it's like yeah it's like but don't do that ever again <laughs> well that, that's the thing i was just talking about i was honestly surprised when i found out but now I was like, I was mad at first, but I was immediately like, wait, what the fuck? She's out having, she's <laughs> as friends now. What the hell? That's awesome. And I was like, what the fuck? It's good. And the Christmas, the last Christmas um, manga, the Christmas chapter recently was like a complete uh, 
I guess, revisiting of the first Christmas uh, chapter where she's like, goes to a party. There's, been, there's a party that was planned that she was supposed to go to, and she goes to it and shows up there, tries to be fashionably late, sees everyone else there, gets like too like, angst, like angst out, leaves and just fucking goes to arcade. Hmm. And spends all the money her mom gave her, gave her for the party on the fucking arcade. And then now she's like going to karaoke and shit, and it's like, this is good. No oh God, karaoke. It was wholesome. That was uh, the fucking. I I get. I got that feeling when I went to, to the trip with Chair and like they went all went karaoke. And I was just like, mm. oh my God. it's like an anime. It's like one of my Japanese anime. But not only that, I'm <laughs> I'm afraid of I'm afraid of loud noises. So I was very like, uh, oh, this is gonna this is gonna test me a little. Oh my God. I don't, I don't think I've ever been to karaoke before. I've been to a couple of times. It's just singing in the shower, but with people. Yeah. No, the junk. And naked? No, I mean, he <laughs> could be. He <laughs> could be if they allow. One of the few things that the uh, one of the few things that the Yakuza series portrays correctly, <laughs> to an extent. <laughs> Man, I, oh man, I fucking hate them. Ah. You hate hands? Probably would be that guy oh, though. He just sings Bakumi Tai. <laughs> Damn, we should have looked that song up in the songbook. What song? <laughs> the, the one Nana just said. Bakumi Tai from the Yakuza series. Oh. Bakumi Tai. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw a Twitter post, so I want to sh just share it. It's actually a good it. song, but it's just a huge meme. Here, look Is at that. that. When songs become memes, it doesn't really affect my enjoyment of it. Like, I, I notice that other people say, oh, I can't enjoy that, that song in the movie because of the memes. Like, really? I don't, like, I still like the song. I like yeah. the song too, but I like there's, it. The, there's yeah. definitely some songs like that. I, I think I like it more as a meme than an actual song is the problem. <laughs> We're almost at three hours, wow. Nando, how you've been on the plane before, right? Me? Yeah. Eh? Nando, you've been on a plane before, right? A plane? A plane. Oh, uh um, it will plane. Yeah. How is it? Since I'm going to be first on the plane soon. <laughs> it's actually not too bad. It's just uh really the most stressful part is just, you know going through security and TSA and all that, but if you know what you're doing, that's not even that bad. Oh no, I don't know what I'm doing! <laughs> don't worry, Cody, you... You, you won't crash into a, a, a painful death. That makes me feel so much better. I've... I've never really had a, uh, like a bad plane experience. Same. I guess it's just like, there's some things that suck, like when you have to do like layovers. What's that? It's uh so like if your flight is not like a straight flight to your destination, you have a layover, so it's basically oh. like a stop in the middle. No, I think uh the oh I chose an airport from Las Las Vegas. Los Angeles to chairs because it was the cheapest ticket. If I picked a place yeah. that was a lot closer, the ticket would have been three hundred. Mm. Now, truthfully, yeah, the, that means the airport is like two hours away, but you know, whatever. That's it's bad. cheaper. 300, I think that's about how much my ticket to go see Triss and then come home is. Oh, 
yeah, I'm gonna be there for about a week. And let me actually see. Actually, this is out of date because I got the date changed. But I think I have one layover to get there and back. Which, I mean, shouldn't be that long. It's probably going to be like half an hour, maybe even less than that. You guys aren't that far, huh? Nah. Not super far. I mean, like, for a drive, it's about like eight to ten hour drive, but you know, we don't want to have to deal with that every time we want to see each other. Yeah. Yeah, this is a tough one. Well, there was a form of transportation that was like you were on like a rail and it like kept you on the same place and you could like <laughs> sit and like sleep and maybe you'd eat a meal. Yeah. yeah. But when will that ever happen? Am I right? Yeah, you, know, you wouldn't have to bend over and get a finger in your ass just to be able to <laughs> get on the plane, you know? <laughs> Something that maybe even the rest of the world uses. Kind of weird. There was no train that took me where chair is, unfortunately. <laughs> And I if there was, it would be like multiple trains that I have to take to get there. I think I shit in Tennessee. Yeah, I think you have one, uh, there's like one thing. I've, I remember trying to go to Tennessee once before on a train and I was like, fuck that. It's a 52 hour fucking, <laughs> well, a 52 hour train ride to get the point to Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> and it takes 18 hours to get from fucking Florida to New York. How does that make sense? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Lay over as the United States well. is so fucking big. It's so it's so silly. It's so this just doesn't make sense. <laughs> Eight New York to Florida, eighteen hours. New York to Tennessee, fifty-two. What? God damn it! I think I made it worse. I'll just Control Z that shit. Control Z is a base. I went to commission some asses. Next time, I'm gonna try to draw Feli again, but this time, like, uh, Nano, did you see the ma ma what Maple posted for a shirt design? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, never mind. Forget what I said. <laughs> I'm gonna make it like a I mean, like a you cool shirt. Show me and refresh my memory. Oh, like, he posted a little design of his uh, Kimura character, and, like, gonna be as a shirt design. Oh, was it the, uh, that vaporwave-looking one? Yeah. Nice, yeah. I remember now. Should probably okay. sleep. Yeah, I should probably head off now. It's nine. We've been here for like two hours and thirty minutes, so you know. It's almost. Let me just, let me just have to pop up this one real fast. Really been that long? Yeah. Got a lot of work done. Aren't you proud? I feel like I feel like I've gotten nothing done. <laughs> okay, same here though. I've only here, did man. like a sketch and a doodle uh, with color. So honestly, you're you're fine. I mean, I can show you where I'm at. That's better, Ark. I like the hand. No, wait. No, wait. I think that's the same one. Hold up. You got rid of it, and all you left was a dash. Alright, uh, I'm gonna stop the stream here. Let me just let me just do this real fast, just to make sure. You guys cool for doing this again another time someday? Hell yeah, that was fun. Maybe you can get Paul and some other people like Nia in here. I like talking to Nia, she's a cool person. Alright, let's see, who to raid? Oh my god, Proton John is playing Sager and Kagura again. I think I'm gonna head out and go to bed. See y'all. Later. Alrighty. I think I have to make the legs a bit thicker. Uh, I'll sure. I'll head out too then. Wait, what do you think of this one? Uh.
No, it was pretty fine too. Think the. It's the it's the pose, isn't it? I mean, the pose is still the same, you know. But anatomy-wise, it's pretty great. You got you got the chest size great, the arm size is realistic, the legs are great. Uh, pose, um, that's just something you... You know what? Next time, I'll find a reference for you, so that way you can use that pose to, you know, make it look more, you know, dynamic. I guess. But otherwise, good progress. You're making... You're learning anatomy, so you got that... Like, you know, becoming mastered now. Yeah. I'm going to go thinking. raid Maple Chew. All right. I'll see you guys in the VC later. Thank you all for joining. It was fun <laughs> talking to you all. And now I'll say, say hi to Tris for me. She's cute. <laughs> all right. But but then tell her that I find you more attractive because of the shirtless drawing you, you made. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. See ya. Later. All right, let's let's go raid Maple Chew. Let's do an Apex Legends, which I would disapprove of because it's on Titanfall. But you know what? You know what? Whatever, you know. Whatever. Oh, we have. Oh, uh, should I have volume up? There we go. All right. Uh, next time on uh, stream, well, uh, I'm not sure what we'll do. Maybe we'll start off on Twilight Princess uh, or something else. We'll have to see. But otherwise, remember that my Pat Upon Let's Play is starting out. Episode 1 was released. And I'll see you guys next time.